good morning everybody or good night or evening how are you doing today Welcome, welcome everybody. Hello guys, it's me, the seven guy. How are you doing? We have a very special package right here, if you can see it. And there's the scissors right behind. Okay, without further ado, let's do this. Can you guys hear me from here? I think you can, right? Yeah. yeah. Can you hear me guys? Look at it! It's a big boy! It's a very, very big boy. It's a large package. Holy god damn it! Okay, hold on. An Asian pillow. Look at that. Holy crap. <laughs> this is how it looks like from behind. I know what I'm sleeping on tonight. Okay. Now this, as you can tell, is the actual game. Look at it. I'm probably never gonna even touch this because, you know, I have the game on PC and... Why... Why would I play this? There's no reason. And... Oh, shit. Look at this. Now, how do I open... Just a second, I got it. Oh, oh, I see. Oh my god, I'm so scared I'm gonna break something. Wait, wait. <laughs> uh, I think I'm doing it. Wait. Oh, 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 watch. Holy. Look at that. Now that is sick. Hold on. Okay. And now for the winner. God, I don't even know if I can like... Guy, where? Oh. He's so big, guys. He's so, where, where did I put him? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful.
Now, if you were me, where would you put the guy? <laughs> Holy shit, he's big. He's huge. Um. Oh yeah, hold on. There's one more thing, actually. Or two more things. So, there's this um, photograph. What do they call it? There was a name for it. I forgot it, but... Just an Asian picture. And... This is kind of sick, actually. A sticker set, I think. Just... Of all the different factions. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Uh, this is how the back of it looks like. And yeah, uh... God. There was a lot to uncover with this, but... I think... My favorite is either this... Or the big boy over there. Which one do you guys like the most? Look at that. Oh my god, I'm so fucking scared. Um, I'm so terrified that I'm gonna break this in particular. It's so delicate. Um, I'm trying to fold it, but... Oh, there we go. Guys, <laughs> am I gonna fucking jinx myself and actually break this on stream? Oh, there we go. There, okay, I closed it. I closed it! Successfully! Look! Let's fucking go! Uh... Wait, where is... Oh, there we go. You have this, like, band... ...that, uh, goes around it to hold it together. Uh, what? So! What did you guys like the most? Make a Ryoma body pillow? Oh, don't test me, buddy. Might actually do it. And then we can also put the body pillow here on the stream. So you guys can watch him. While we play something. How about that? Yes? Or no? God, I'm actually worried for the... Scroll, though, because... Ideally, I do want to put it somewhere, but... My room is loaded. Like, there's a bed here. Got a big green showcase behind me. Got a game showcase here. Got, like, it's so full. My room is so full. <sighs> oh, yeah, I should probably show this a little more. The game. And that's how it looks like from here. Hmm. I feel like I want to show the scroll again. It's so, like, it's so pretty. Uh, someone was asking how much did it cost you. You know, um, this thing by itself is actually not that, that expensive. I mean, like, the, the whole box. It's like... A hundred bucks, which is like standard fare for collector editions, give or take. Now, here's what happened. Shipping, because of course it's fucking shipping. Um, shipping is the same price as uh, the game itself. So it's like 100, 100 bucks for the game, the box. 100 bucks for the shipping, so 200 bucks almost. Um, I think it was a little more as well, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, God, I was so excited for this, I forgot to like... Uh, introduce the box, introduce like the, the game, and just talk about it for a bit. But yeah, fellas, that was the uh, Japanese limited edition of Ishian, the uh, DX box. And am I glad I made the purchase? Yes, I am. I mean, look at him, and look at the pillow as well. Hold on, if you didn't see it yet, let me show you. Hold on. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look. <laughs> oh. I need to show the scroll again as well. Hold on. It's 
It's huge! Look! Ugh. God damn. Ryomo, would you like to say any words to chat? Is that all? Okay, Ryoma, thank you for being a guest. I need to actually do something about that, but yeah, uh, hold on, guys. Uh, just a little bit, gotta adjust everything here. God, it's actually hot here. God damn. Use the fan. Good proposal. Hold on, actually. Fellas, will anyone help me fold Ryoma, please? Who wants to put their hands on the boy? You know what's the craziest takeaway from all of this? I have legs. Can you believe that? Can you believe it, chat? Okay, um... We are back. And we are gonna be doing a bit of Ishian, as the title says. Probably gonna do some sub-stories and all that. Um, I initially wanted to like make this just a short stream where I do the unboxing, but I feel like that's gonna be a little too short. And, I mean, I'm gonna get around to playing Ishin anyway, so might as well do it on a stream for a bit. Show feet. Not today, Buster. Uh... <clears throat> okay. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome. Man, I've... Ever since, like, I started being active on Twitter again, I've been, like, bombarded with uh, new followers. And it makes this old little heart happy. Yo, welcome, welcome. 
Okay, so I made this window yesterday because I was farming the hell out of chicken racing. And I didn't want that to be the only thing that I do, so I put it on windowed, so that when I start the race, I alt tab, maybe do a daily in a, like a mobile game or something, uh, watch a walkthrough of a horror game, and yeah. Uh, no, not this. Why are you playing on 720p? Because I put the thing on windowed yesterday. Because if you put it on full screen. Multitasking is a bit more difficult, but now it should be uh, on 1080p. Like, when you put it on borderless, that's the thing. You can't change the resolution. It just does it for you. Anyway, can you guys guess how many tags I have right now? Watch. 721,000. Let's fucking go. <laughs> um, and I've been doing this almost all day yesterday, baby. Like... Yesterday after the stream, what happened was I felt a bit out of it, a little dizzy. Well, not dizzy, but I went to the living room to chill. And I, I just, I, I started fading out of consciousness. <laughs> I ended up sleeping for like a couple hours, couple to three hours. And then woke up feeling way better than I did before. And I did some Asian uh, grinding. Okay, the dreaded chicken racing, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen. So, looking at this table right now, who would you bet for? Let's hear it. Let's test your knowledge on all of this. Come on. <laughs> what perks do I get from Yakuza save titles? I don't think you get anything, sadly. There's nothing at all. One. One. Toast and pride. One. One. You know, in the guide I mentioned that you should look at condition and circles above everything. But while doing all of this, like, tedious ass grind, I was like, wait a minute. Maybe we should also look at past results. And here's the thing. Past results is a category that I don't really... What's the word? I, I, I don't put too much priority on it, but I do think it matters a little bit. Uh, but yeah, here I'm probably gonna go with uh, Toast on Pride. Uh, so, here, here's the thing, like, here's my findings, if you will, just to, like, share it with you guys. Condition matters, prediction matters, but, say for example, like now with Toast on Pride, past results is only, like, 143, whereas with number 3, you have 555. So, like, I feel like that does factor in into the overall like RNG thing. Hold on, let me. Hmm. Also, I had a couple of times. Oh shit! Time's up. Oh no! So what? I only get to watch this. Hold on, let me leave. What is the payout? Um, I think it differs per chicken. Some chickens, I think, either, like, they don't have good predictions on them or whatever. Uh, those give you more. But, you know, at the cost of... Uh, potentially losing. Is this pure luck? Pretty much, yeah. Like, you can take a look at a few factors to, like, help give you an edge, but... You know, at the end of the, at the, end of the day, it's RNG. Okay! With chicken now, fellas. Who looks like they're gonna win? God, hold on, let me, let me fix something. Number five. Number five, interesting. Why would you pick five? All right. <clears throat> okay, we have 60 seconds. My gut tells me to go with number two, actually. Because, like, it's the most well-rounded, if that makes sense. Because he's nice. True. 
fair reasoning. Let me try to see how that goes. I still can't believe chicken racing is one of the most engaging content in the whole fucking game. <laughs> of all the things. Not even sub stories. I mean, sub stories are nice, but chicken racing, like, gets the whole chat. Just. going crazy over who wins and if it's actually gonna happen and i mean same for me like chicken racing uh, i don't know what to say with it god damn it i hate it but i also love it how do you do it that fast well i would show you my hands but i'm gonna try to do it after this on key do you use keyboard by any chance i tried to do it with keyboard and it was really clunky Come on, number two, come on. I believe in you. Push. You know, you know the funny thing about long races? Say right now your chicken is in first place. You should not be happy. Because I've noticed more often than not, when there's a chicken in first place right now at this point of the race, guess what? Chances are, someone in the very back is gonna fucking speed up and win. Watch. Number three. Look at number three. And number one. No, number two! God damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, we made the wrong bet. You know what I usually do? Instead of like losing and then immediately leaving and loading, I do a second bet. Because it's kind of faster than if you would go back and load and bet again, if that makes sense. And you get your chips, not chips, um, you get your tags back and a little extra as well. So it's not too bad. Oh yeah, someone was asking me, how do you do this so fast? Oh, I mean, there's not really a trick to it. If you can see. Oh wait. There's three buttons to press, and that's all you need. Now, I don't know if that showed you or told you anything, but yeah. So, X, left, X, down, X, left, X. It's hard to say it right now, but you get used to it. I went from 34 Rio to 120 in an hour. Nice. You know, I think I got this... No, actually, how much did I have yesterday? I might have gotten 700,000 in like three hours, actually. Same control color as you. Hell yeah! I actually wanted to get purple initially, but they didn't have purple, so I got this. They also had the sky blue one, but I didn't get that. Okay, we lost another one. We have to load. What color is your controller, chat? Is it the plain old black? Or maybe white? Or maybe something in between? Samurai Ondo... Copper? Interesting. Wanna get the purple one, but it's expensive? Oh, is it? Oh no, don't tell me, like... It's like a very sought out, sought after, sought out after, I don't fucking know. Sought after, I think, is the right order. Is it a very sought after controller and like, it, it's sold out everywhere and people are selling it for expensive? Is that it? Man, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna bet on number three, chicken, uh, I mean, king of wings. Yo, welcome, welcome. Oh, by the way, um, I don't know who cares about this, but let me show you guys something. 
And I think some of you might find it very... Nice. Okay, for those who have the money... Uh, that is not me, by the way. But if you have the money... You can go to eBay right now. Apparently someone is already selling these um, Asian plushies, if you want those. Um, I checked like a couple hours ago, actually. There was only three of them. And now there's more added. So, if you wanted to get your hands on these and had no idea how to... There you go. Because, uh, yeah, otherwise I don't know how you can get these. Probably you need to like really look deep into um, some Japanese websites. Uh, and it would be difficult to like put your address or try to work around getting these plushies, but I found these and uh, yeah, I need a silly Izo plushie. Yeah, oh, I just noticed these are not here actually. But man, these are so cool. I I really hope they do like worldwide merchandise as a next step for the you know for the studio. The price below for these. Love how Akiyama is the most expensive one. <laughs> most popular, most expensive. You want it? Pay up. Now, if you love a character that's not so popular, good for you. Uh, just a second, fellas. We'll get right into chicken racing in a bit. <clears throat> hey Leon, where did you buy the deluxe Asian version? Oh yeah, I should have talked about that. I keep forgetting. Hold on. I think... I'm not sure if it's still available actually, but... The most accessible website is Amazon Japan. Because they actually do have worldwide shipping. Um, if it's still available, I'll send the link in the chat. But at this point, I wouldn't be very optimistic about it. Actually, wait, I think they have five left. Chat? Five left. First come, first serve. <laughs> okay, yeah, here it is. So I'm gonna send the link to you guys. Uh, there we go. I think that should work. <clears throat> um, five left, ladies and gentlemen. Five left. If I refresh in like two minutes, I wonder if it's gonna say like, oh, only three left. Because someone in chat got it. Um, Alright. Back to chicken racing. I mean, misery. I think number no number five number four sorry might be the best wait did I already bet on someone wait take it back oh god damn it I fucked it up. Okay, let me just check on number three. Oh, why did I bet on three? Uh oh, 80. I'm gonna load. There's not enough time. Uh, what's in it, Leon? I should be able to rewind, yeah, to see what's in it. I'm surprised Twitch doesn't have that feature, to be able to, like, rewind and, uh, see, uh, previous moments of the stream. That's actually one good thing about YouTube streaming. One of the few good things about YouTube streaming. Well, I mean, to be fair, YouTube streaming isn't that bad. Uh, I think I've told you guys before, but compared to Twitch, I actually get very good, uh, connection here. 
And then on Twitch, my connection is horrible. It's absolutely poo-poo. All the time. Like, my connection there is not stable. Ever. <laughs> the green light on OBS is always, like, yellow, green, red. All in, like, the span of five seconds. Okay, number two is looking pretty good. Also, uh, something to give props to YouTube for. They actually implemented the sub system, if you will, the membership system, which I think is amazing. Uh, because for one thing, it eliminates the, re the need for me to, like, I don't know, make a Patreon or some shit, which I actually used to have. And then I closed it because I was like, I can't really offer much to you guys, so what's the point? Um... So yeah, like, the, the YouTube membership thing was a godsend. I'm glad they did that. And I hope they keep adding stuff as well, like, um... Emote support. Right now, the chat, as you guys see it, where you can see emotes, it's all thanks to a script that someone made. I found it on Reddit. Yo, Owl, welcome. What was the package? Uh, you can rewind and uh, look at it. There's a lot of good stuff in there. You know, I'm probably gonna keep all the stuff in that package sealed in a fucking museum display case. <laughs> because that's usually how I treat my purchases. No, wait. No! Fuck it. For some reason I thought I bet on number 5, but no, I bet on number 2. Oh, chat. Who is ready to see me suffer for like five more lost games? Sitting debating the purchase. I mean, hey, if you... I'm not saying anything, but like, if you... If, if the money's extra and you don't need to, no, you don't need it for anything else and it's gonna make you happy... Um, you know. Number five always wins. I had number five. Why isn't the video feed working? Isn't it? It should be. Uh, see, this is a tough one. Which one would you bet on here? I mean, you don't have to. You, also, you always have the choice of going back. And then going back in. To, like, refresh the, the chickens. Which actually isn't a bad idea sometimes. Okay, number four is looking promising. I'll go to number... Four. You could cut an easy video for the channel. Yeah, I was actually thinking of doing that. Um, gonna make a, like a short version of, of the whole thing. Okay, let's see how this goes. How long do you think we'll have to wait for another RGG game? I'd say fall this year, probably. Like late this year, just... I think I used to say summer, maybe, but... No, I think fall, fall is a more realistic. Um, expectation. Um, okay, I'm not happy about this. Number four is in first place right now, but again, that's never a good thing because... Look, watch the chickens from back just fucking... Speed it to the finish line. And there's my chicken slowing down. Oh, the agony. <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> Why? Why, goddammit? Chat, how does it feel to see me suffer with chicken waiting? Number... I'm gonna go with number three.
I spent a shit ton of money in this game, and it's still not enough. Wait, uh, oh yeah, I think I showed you guys already how much, how many chips, not chips, goddammit, tags I have. I keep saying chips. Virtuous hood. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing because I think that person said he crafted, but he don't. When I looked it up, and like the guy the the original version of the game, I think you find it from the bounty missions. Um, and it's like the last bounty mission uh, reward, which honestly, I'm probably gonna do it eventually, but it seems like it's gonna take a lot of effort just to like farm a bit of extra for, uh, virtue. And look at that, another loss. God damn it, dude. <laughs> uh, and now we load. Yeah, the dungeon is decent, but... I feel like this is faster overall. I just want to pay for Haruka's Depth. How much is it, actually? Can you pay it instantly if you have the money? Or do you have to actually do stuff? Yo, thank you, Sir Darken. Appreciate it, buddy. See, most circles now are on number three, but look at the condition and the past results of number two. It's five payments total, 20 ryo per payment, okay. I see. Nice, hope that tomato soup is good. Pretty sure you can pay it almost instant. I see. And I assume after you pay that debt, you also unlock her karaoke song. I need to still like, upload that. I beat it with the 200 you get from beating the game. That's a good investment. By the way, sometimes the game spoils results for you. Watch this, watch. Right now, obviously, the, fr the chicken in the first place is number 5. But on the right, it says number 2 is in first place. You see that? Game actually spoiling for you. So, this means we might actually have a chance. Let's pray, let's hope. Can we have pray gaze in the chat? <laughs> Thought it was a gift? No, I wish. I really do. The last time I got a gift from RGG was... God, five years ago now? I only ever got one gift from them too. And it was... Uh, a uh, t-shirt with Kiryu's tattoo on it. Okay, that was actually a victory. I'm gonna save it. Yo, thank you for the super chat. Unofficial gamer, thank you. Why you look like Devil and Seven? Who's Devil? Who's Devil and Seven? I don't know. Okay, wait. Uh, how many tags do I have? Did I save it? I'm gonna save it again. I'm sometimes just not sure. The Virtue Seal. Oh yeah, what about it? Okay, number one is looking pretty good. Um, Lost Judgment press package. Yeah, it feels bad. Um, I think Yakuza 7 also had a sick press uh, box. I didn't get that either. Um... I 
I think my main problem is that I just wasn't very good at networking in, in general on Twitter or anywhere, uh, anywhere else really. Um, I'm trying to do that now though. Oh yeah, the pin set was with the press box, wasn't it? Oh no. Sometimes sending an email is enough. Like... I don't know, like, the criteria feels weird right now in general, because... I'm sure you've guys seen Snowiest uh, video as well. He was asking for a code for Ishin, and he got nothing. I also was... Like, I sent an email as well to RGG Studio. About... Uh, just, you know... Just a partnership in, in general, nothing specific. I didn't even ask for, like, an Ishin code, just to, like, I don't know... Do something together. Um, and I don't know. It feels like they're focusing less on RGG content creators and more on just famous content creators in general. Well, I say famous, but you know what I mean. Like, they're focusing on content creators who have. Yo, thank you for the super chat and official. Thank you. Feels like they're focusing on. Um, Kier, Content creators with a following kill. that if isn't Yakuza die, focused. Come here. Kier, you that kill, if you want to live, stay away from me. Thank you, an official gamer. Thank you. Okay, I'm saying I'm betting my money on number number one. Um Yo, nice, Marty. Yeah, I think Scott doesn't work uh, directly with RGG anymore, does he? I'm not sure. I think he did say he lost... He did say lost judgment, I think, was the last thing he had, like, a, a hand in. I think he actually did, did tweet about uh, Ishin. Uh, saying that it's the first project he never touched the text file for, or something like that. Thank you, uh, Day. Really appreciate it. Um, how did you raise the blacksmith level? So, near the blacksmith, there's a weapon shop, arms dealer. Uh, buy as many as you can for, uh, from him, like... All the cheapest swords, all the cheapest armor, and so on and so forth. And donate all of that to the blacksmith. Mm, number three. Looks most balanced. Yeah, I really do hope, like, they just realize that there's actual Yakuza content creators who are... Like, they've been passionate about these games for a long, long time. And they really want to see some love as well. And, you know, I'm not just talking about me, of course. I'm talking about... You have someone like Yakuza fan who's been around for a while. Uh, Snowiest has been doing an amazing job in... Uh, promoting these games as well. And just making videos about them in general. Um, like, th there's a lot of Yakuza content creators right now. Um, also, another up-and-coming Yakuza YouTuber. I'm sure you guys have seen him in the stream sometimes. Uh, Goku Doni. He does some good videos. Check him out if you uh, want more Yakuza videos. Uh, is the max blacksmith level required for completion? I'm not sure. But you want that anyway because you got... A lot of good benefits that you want to have with you anyway. It is Pocket Circuit's voice, yeah. Uh, 
Holy shit, we actually won! Oh, let's fucking go. So wait, was... Is it just me or number three was actually in the lead, like, since almost the start? Because, you know, I already said it, but almost every time someone's in the lead, at first, they get outraced. I don't know how much more I'm gonna farm with this. <laughs> oh, okay, I might... One more victory, okay? One more victory and then we move on. For now. I still want to farm more after, you know, after the stream. Five was, okay. I see. Okay, number four, I say, is probably our best bet. I'll watch us get decimated. You know, speaking of RGG Studio, it's... I just want to say again, them acknowledging, like, the fact that... Times are changing, if you will. And they need to lift all these, like... Heavy-ass restrictions on the games they have. Like, copyright restrictions. Is music to my ears. I, I love that they finally talked about that. Because it, it was so annoying. When, whenever you would try to, like make videos of these games um share like the most hype moments of the game and all you get is like here's a copyright uh, strike get two more and your channel is finished there was one time where i got uh this is not looking very good i think i'm gonna i'm gonna just load there was a time where i got uh, so the way copy copyright strikes work if you get three of them within three months, your channel is gone. But say, for example, you get one. That basically copyright strikes, they expire. Like if you wait three months, that one copyright strike you get is going to be gone. So when I got those two copyright strikes, if I got a third one within like three months, that would have been it. But yeah, after... The three months uh, passed, they were gone. Number two... Either number two or three. Well, two has two double circles, so... After which game did it become a problem for copyright? I think it's been a problem ever since game 1 on the PS2. Well, Yakuza 1 doesn't have issues, I don't think. At least, not in like the main story. Yakuza 2, on the other hand, has a lot of them, surprisingly. Um, a lot of cutscene music, or just cutscene moments, uh, give you a copyright notice. Uh, and then there is also, you know, the final boss for that game. Uh, are you Lebanese by any chance? No, actually. I'm, um, I'm from Bahrain. I think I, like... If I if we talk about the roots of the family, I think we come from near uh... like there's part I think in Afghanistan, part in Russia, like around there. I think. I think. I honestly never like delved too much into my family history. <laughs> okay, no, you know what? I'll go with number three. No, number two. Sorry. 
You gonna see Formula One? No. Never been interested, honestly. I'll just sit home and play Ishin. Is it gonna be a chicken stream for today? Well, I said I was gonna get one more win and then we'll do something else, so uh, yes and no. I just want one more win. Yeah, a lot of people I talk to, like whenever they hear about my country, they usually mention Formula One as well. For those who don't know, Formula One is uh, a racing show that happens here. Also, going back to the spoiler talk, I think one of the main reasons they copyright uh, parts of the game is because of spoilers. Purely spoilers. Holy shit, look at that. Yo, Long, how you doing, buddy? Okay. Let me show you guys how much I have. Look! And guess what? I think that's still not gonna be enough. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah, I think I heard about Persona 5 as well, having that issue. Just... I I'm so glad RGG was like, okay, you know what? We're not gonna block anything anymore. You got us, guys. You win. Okay, so... I'm gonna unequip this just to see sub stories. Damn! Look at all of the sub stories. Formula One is pretty big here in Brazil. Oh, didn't know that. I'm kind of surprised Formula One is as famous as it is. Uh, because it's always been the kind of thing I never really had an interest in. I'm not sure if it is, Naps. Yeah, that would be awesome, Wasiolka. 28,000 tags. Uh, do I gain more than... It depends. Like, try to farm more, I would say, right now, if you can. Um, dungeon battles are decent. The Haruka farming minigame is also decent to get more money. Try to get around uh, 70 Rio if you can. And then come back. Yeah, there's multiple sub stories with her apparently. Dying, I see. <clears throat> I kind of threw all my training orbs on Brawler. I'm currently on chapter 4 and almost filled it. It's chaos, I can imagine. Brawler is good. Well, oh, it's decent. I think the only problem with it is the damage. Like, that's literally the only, only thing about it that uh, makes it not a viable option sometimes. Unless, unless, you, um, like, you invest in accessories that increase the damage of uh, Brawler. I think then it becomes decent. I don't think that was a thing in the original either. Like, Brawler was just usable at any times. I mean, it still kind of is here, but again, just the, the damage is a big problem. It's way less than the other styles. I'll pay you in full now. Use some of that to get ready if you need to. Three Rio. What if I take off with the money? <laughs> the Spitfire Lie Detector. Let's go! 
three to you only. Yeah, that's how it is when you uh, <laughs> when you've hit it big, thanks to the chicken racing. Yo, Daryl. Yeah, are you? Which um, platform are you playing on? I'm assuming it's not PC, is it? If it's PC, it's like the easiest thing ever. <laughs> Scary man. No, oh, fuck you. I'm stuck out here choking down cold rice because of you. You're not getting through here in a million years. Well, I have much more important things to do than argue with talking pieces of shit. So I'm just gonna beat your ass and head on in, okay? her ancestor, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. It's funny that she uses a gun here. You know what? I've had enough. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. One shot everyone in the fucking room. <laughs> you know what? I actually... I, I didn't use Tendo's card much before, but man, being able to do this is kind of satisfying. Yeah, that was like bowling. <laughs> yeah, the last guy. You know, it's funny how the original Yakuza 1 had a save point after you beat Lauka Long. And then Kiwami decided to just not do that. But then again, the save system for the first Yakuza was kind of different. I don't think you can change the font, no. Trooper card tier list. I've been getting a lot of those, whether it's like meme, like like in a, in a meme kind of way or serious, I don't know, but I'm actually kind of tempted to, to do that now. Though I need to test the other cards as well. I barely, like I didn't do anything with cards that are not legendary. I think the reasoning for not including Mac is really dumb. Have you guys seen it, by the way? They said something like, oh, we don't want to put Mac in because it's going to be shallow fan service. But at the same time, we're talking about the issue. Come on, dude. Wait, they didn't want Tatsu? Was that something mentioned in the interview? Yeah, I don't remember that being mentioned. <laughs> they had to because she's popular, I see. Yeah, like, Mac might not be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, he's not Yakuza 0 popular, but I think he's still loved. Yeah, um... 
I do also understand that a lot of, like, when it comes to choosing what to put and what not to put in a game, sometimes, it, like, it's hard to fault the developers, or, or like, well, the studio for it, when the final choice might be made by the higher-ups, if that makes sense. Like, for example, with RGG Studio, maybe someone from, like, the, you know, the the higher whatever in Sega wanted like to put something popular instead and they were like okay well we have no choice <sighs> I've seen people complain about Mac being too stereotypical well I mean <laughs> If we want to talk about stereotypes, I think Yakuza has a lot of them, so I don't see the problem, honestly. Coal mines and take all my pay! Oh no! Just needed money for my father's medicine, next thing I knew... I was overwhelmed with debt, getting dragged here by his men. How the... How did you all get out? I'd say you've heard enough that you can't rule out the possibility. Indeed, this is... Caught red-handed, Buster. She has the evidence. <laughs> you want a good example, by the way, on like stereotypes being in Yakuza? And... Like... It's such a, like, out there example, but... I, rem I remember. I'll say that. In Yakuza 0, in the Coliseum, there is an Arabic fighter that you're able to, well, fight. And out of all the costumes they decided to give him, they gave him, like, a fucking turban and, uh, like, traditional clothes. Which, I don't mind. Like, as far as um, looking at the character goes, it's like, okay, you look at the guy and you're like, okay, yeah, that's an Arabic guy, if that makes sense. I don't think it's offensive. Um... But, you know, I, like, what I'm trying to say here is just, stereotypes don't always mean, like, um, like, stereotypical characters don't always mean that they're out to be offensive or, like, uh, I don't know, I think you get where I'm going with this. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I forgot. He he just reminded me, Shin. There's also a couple of um, Arabic guys in uh, Yakuza One as well, right? Uh, with the Doctor Emoto sub story, the Ali the Ali uh, brothers. <laughs> Ali, Ali. Ah, <laughs> uh, that sub story. Yeah, I don't remember the Yakuza 2 one, but I do remember that Yakuza 1 substory. I'm Brazilian, and there's the, the Shuva guy, which is definitely not a Brazilian name. They did fix it in 7, now being call, called the Silva. I, I remember hearing people talk about that, and I, like, I never understood it, but it's it's good to know that. Dun, 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 dun. 
Nice, Abdul Aziz. Congrats, dude. Original one and um, they're in Kiwami as well. <laughs> I see. So wait, was that the last sub story with her? I did, yeah. We did, I think, one yesterday, yesterday or two. So I guess that's all for her. Da -da -da. Okay, well, I keep forgetting that they sell hammers. I'm gonna buy some. Three thousand virtue, baby, just like that. Um, let's see. Guess we can do that sub story. <laughs> hey, buddy. Boy. You're right there, cat. Hungry cat's stomach. Fish. Do I have a fish? Oh, I do. Perfect. Boy. Hey, try some of this. Yeah. <laughs> when do they start hammers? Do you, you mean when do they start selling hammers? Don't they have it from the beginning? Give a cat a fish, he eats for a day, and so on. <laughs> You're not listening to me. <laughs> oh yeah, the Ginryu fight is kind of rough. Well, if you don't find the hammers from the beginning there, then you might need to upgrade the blacksmith level. What are you doing here? Suspicious man. You seem rather fishy. Dude, your name is Suspicious Man. Look at what you're doing. Why are you snooping around like that? Oh, don't worry about me. It's my duty to patrol this fair city and help anyone in need. Eh? It's your duty? You're on the job right now? Hi. I'd like to believe so. And I'm knee-deep in the middle of a mission. So, if you don't mind, I need to avoid any potential distractions from... Please, leave me alone. We got a shakedown. was playing Evelyn Ring, there was a voice actor called Nabil, which is my name. Nice! Yeah. <laughs> I think I've known a couple of... No, I was gonna say I've known a couple of Nabils, but... I think their second name was Nabil. He's gone. Where'd that fishy guy go? Stop right there. You two, were you attempting to bro beat this fair lady into a compromising situation? Can't you see she already has her own troubles she's dealing with? She doesn't need any more trouble from you. For shame, sirs. What is he doing? A samurai? Well, uh, don't get to thinking he can boss us around just because you got a sword. Yeah, we can totally take you two, two on one. So mind your own damn business and fuck off. <laughs> Miss, please stand back. Things are about to get messy. Oh, right. Now, come at me, fiends. Huh? Oh, that's it. I'm really gonna give it to you. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, we're not gonna go easy on you. You... You'll be sorry. Rawr. <laughs> Wait, what is that guy about to... What is going on? <sighs> RGG Studio finally gave this man a sponsor deal? I wish. What we unboxed today was a collector edition. Oh no. I was being nice. And then you guys... You hurt me! <laughs> yeah, let's just get out of here. Um, sir? Sir? Oh, it's you. Are you alright, miss? Yes, I am. But I'm in a real hurry. Oh, right. Yes, then off you go. <laughs> what a situation. You again. Pay my current state no mind. It's the crooks and never do wells of the city who need to be worried about me. I'm not so sure about that, but you really are unique, I've got to say. Huh? You stepped in and saved that poor, go poor girl without hurting a single person. Perhaps that's true, but a single person definitely did get hurt. Uh, recalling the incident is making my wounds smart all over again. Would you happen to have anything on hand that might help? Oh, I do, buddy. Yeah, Nabil can also be like... Uh, a feminine, like, th there's a feminine version of Nabil. Uh, Nabil. I've heard Nabil, but I haven't heard N Nabil, I don't think, ever. It appears you're a kindred spirit, another fellow always willing to lend a helping hand to the troubled. You really seem to need it. Anyway, what are you doing out here? Hmm? What do you mean? Well, you look like a samurai, but... Were you hired as some kind of protection around here? I am indeed a protector of the city, but my patrols are purely out of passion for the work. Nani. Wait, you, do, you, you just do this because you want to? Yes, actually. More than that. I feel absolutely compelled to step in and help anyone with nowhere else to turn. I patrol the city of Kyo, looking for citizens who may be in need. I see. You're a surprisingly nice guy. What? What do you mean, surprisingly? <laughs> oh, is that the voice of, of the trouble that I hear? Duty calls, fr uh, friend. Okay, so that's a friendship uh, thing. Sub story should be done now. Yeah, I love the PS Vita. It's been a while since I played on the one that I have, but I love it. Yeah, Abdul Aziz. I think that's one of the reasons why Ichiban is as popular as he is. Get it? He's fast. God oh, damn. There we go. Right in the PP. Have you ever modded any Yakuza game? I did, yeah. I got the uh, early version of Yagami for Judgment. Or I used to have it at some point. I don't know. Like, I, I just... I love modern games, but with Yakuza, it feels wrong. I didn't outlaw. So, with each limit break uh, training, I assume you get uh, an extra heat bar? 
Is that how it works? Uh... Yeah, I suppose it does. Yo, Moak. Pretty good. I'm forever gonna wonder where to put Ryoma. I really... Ideally, I wanted him to show up on the stream somewhere here, but like, as you can see, there's a window, and my bed is also here. And there's the air conditioner over there as well, so... My room is full. I really need to adjust something. How many times has it happened to you where you want to, like, rearrange your room? But then you think of, like, all the moving and all the cleaning you might have to do, and you're like... Mm, do I really need to? <laughs> By the collector edition, uh, Amazon Japan. Actually, let me refresh the thing. How many copies are there now? I'm gonna send the link. Only three left in stock. It actually happened. <laughs> Someone earlier mentioned that they got it, and uh, there's another person that got it. I just sent the link if you want that. So uh, get on it if you want it. Slap sound effect. Is Ichiban in the game? Only as a card. Being the first foray into Unreal, do you think the transition is good? I... I mean, it's interesting how they took it to Unreal, and I don't mind it, but I I think it would be a big shame to abandon the Dragon Engine this early. Yo, Bending, welcome, welcome. The Woodcutter. I've been chopping since before you were a speck in Daddy's eye. <laughs> Like any, like any of the good for nothings around here would lift a finger for an old. How do you pronounce that? Kujer? Like me? You shouldn't give up without trying. People are more willing to help out than you might think. Mm -hmm. Well, how about you then? Eh? What? Ah. You look to be in good enough shape. I got an eye for those with chopping potential. And you're one of them. Mm. I don't know. Mm hmm? So you spin that whole yarn to me about how helpful folks are, and then leave me standing with my thumb, you know where? W wait, where the fuck do you put your thumb? Well, if I don't chop, I don't eat, you know. Um... Like, the thing about this game and Unreal Engine, sometimes it looks really good, and sometimes it looks really saturated and, like, washed out. So overall, I would say I really want them to continue with the Dragon Engine. <laughs> and, like, not just because of the graphics, either. Um, the way, like, at launch, and I think it still is true, um... You have, like, this first-time stutter for everything that happens. Like, first time you do a certain heat action. First time you talk to someone. For that kind of thing. And you don't have to worry about that with the, with the Dragon Engine, so... Um, and, you know, I think Dragon Engine combat has come a long way. And it can only become better with the next games. Okay... <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Uh oh. What do you think of game reviewers saying it's a filter with a sixty dollar price tag? A uh, filter? What do they mean by that? You mean filler? Things are getting a little intense. When is this gonna end? I'm on the edge of my seat here. Yeah, thank you, William. Really, really appreciate it. Man, I just hope, like... I'm always afraid that I'll come off as, like... I'm on some high horse and like, I'm saying, I'm like, t talking when I shouldn't talk that way, but I really do hope they don't forget about RGG content creators. Because there's a lot of passionate people putting in the work for the series. Like we mentioned before. And again, I I've talked about it before, but... All those guests that showed up, for example, everyone that gets all these, like, Yakuza care packages, I'm happy for them, like, that is awesome. It goes to show that they're trying to communicate with the community, but you also have a lot of, like, Yakuza-focused content creators, you know? Oh, so wait, I can just stop whenever I want to, I just noticed. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna stop at a hundred. Like that. We skinned game with full price. The the question is, what are they comparing this to? Reskinned. I mean, well, I don't know where to start, honestly. Yeah, Elmos. I, I just really hope they uh, keep improving on that department. Like, I've seen so many people that were, like, flat out salty, or, like, they were, like, Oh, what the fuck is this person doing in Asian? Why are- why is he here? What? Yada yada yada. And I think... That mindset is not necess- like... You're... We have enough negativity. Um, and what- like whenever we talked about that whole guest appearance thing, I just brought up the fact that, you know, RGG trying to communicate with a bunch of content creators is nice. And I still think it is. Just, uh... It feels like RGG content creators are not nearly as, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Recognized? As they kind of used to be a few, year a few years ago. No, this game is full price. Um... Should I wait for a sale to get Ishian? I would say, yeah. I re uh, remember what you said about, you know, the whole uh, turkey price thing. I would say wait, yeah. Saint of Kyo, achievement unlocked. I'll take it. Okay, well, that was one sub story. Oh no. <laughs> the man who was kind enough to listen to me. Why aren't you playing that Souls Kiwami? 
send me a copy, I'll do it right now. Right now. How about that? I've been feeling rather chatty. You do call the promise, recall the promise you made me, right? Why aren't you speedrunning Yakuza 5? Uh, don't ask me that question again. It's a long story, the final chapter. Alright, I've been thinking of... I'd better think of what I'd been meaning to say. I've got all sorts of stuff saved up for this moment. Well, still, please try to keep it short, for my sake. Oh, don't give me that look. I know, I know. Don't don't go on forever. Fine. Promise I won't be too much longer than last time. <laughs> He's disgusted. <laughs> what I say about that look? Oh, how about I mix in some helpful life tips? Maybe you'll finally hear something that lightens you up. Well, here goes nothing. We're coming up on the time of the best time of the year for food fans, aren't we? Food fans, where you at? Always love a good autumn. The mochi, the sweet potatoes. Oh, the veggie tempura is going to get delicious. My mouth, my mouth's already watering just thinking about it. I can already feel the pounds packing on. We may enjoy the harvest at first, but it takes its toll on our waistlines. I especially have to pay attention to that since we've got other shops in town already doing quite a number on my body. All too often. Did that guy just run into us only to fucking disappear? Oh, get your mind out of, the, out of the gutter. You men are all alike. I meant the confectionaries. I can't keep myself away from them nowadays. A confectionery is a place that makes and sells sweets, by the way. <laughs> My favorite one is actually a tea shop that also sells different desserts. All the popular tea shops have them now, since people love to pair their favorite treats with some warm, bitter tea. What a perfect pair. There are even writers out there who all try the different shops, who try all the different shops, and publish their opinions about them. Is it just me, or like, people keep fucking disappearing out of nowhere? <laughs> Like, it's way more noticeable than any other instance so far. Sort of them like what- Holy shit, dude, stop! Oh my- I think she's killing people. With all this... First, there's the Otake Tea Parlor near the barracks. That place is a must-go. Even if you're not a sweets guy. Their Warabi Mochi is divine. The amount of kinoku powder they put on the mochi is almost mind-boggling. It's almost enough to absorb you entirely when you take that first bite. Uh, I don't think so, Abdelaziz. Did you see that black bar appearing at the top? And the three-colored dango they make, that's always one of my favorites, no matter where I go. I admit, but theirs, theirs is to die for. They're like a little red, white, and green balls of the heaven. They are. The moment you pop one in your mouth, you'll know what I mean. Why don't you do a Climax Battle Marathon? That That is a great idea. Might actually do that. Someday. Uh, Alright, so the next store is, and it's just as good as Otake, is Uji Tea Parlor over in West Umeko Jicho. Their Zenzai is delicious. What's delicious? The Zenzai. The amount of sugar they put in is almost lethal. You know it's not good for you, but you can't stop yourself from shoveling it down. There's even a rumor going around that their Zenzai alone is the cause of a not insignificant weight gain in the city. Can you imagine? <laughs> Didn't you already do that? I think what Paradox meant is like, multiple games in one stream. Um, I did like, pretty much all the games before, but they were all separate. And I took my time with them. So we could do like a climax battle speed run marathon, I guess, if you want to call it that. <laughs> when life's got ground you to a nub and you're at your most desperate, the scent of Amazake from the Uji tea parlor wafts your way. Then it's as if your body floats to the shop on its own, and the moment you taste that delicious brew, you're healed. That's how good it is. I'm not looking forward to the quiz. 
Chat, have you been paying attention? I need your help. <laughs> oh yeah, Yakuza 1 Climax Battles might be the exception. I'm probably not gonna do that. Or maybe we, we will, but not every category. Because that's like... Like, even if you're taking it easy and you're like taking your time with it, it it's, it's like... I don't know, <laughs> impossible. <laughs> um... I'm not the only one who thinks that either, but people, right? You don't believe me? Oh, are you not a fan of sweets? Yeah, I should probably have figured that already. Well, you should just... You should have said something. Don't worry, though. I've got plenty of tips on the town in me. You'll still get something useful. I don't really pay attention to the service at tea parlors, but I suppose someone like yourself might have a keen eye out for the ladies, eh? I've heard guys around town say, say that they're repeat customers at a certain establishments. All because of a single staff member they're fond of. There's this one server girl I know, named Sumira-chan. Oh, and she's over at the Uji tea parlor too. There's another reason to go. <laughs> I may be biased since I know her, but she's a cute girl with a great personality and brains to boot. I'm not lying when I say she's got it all. Plus, girls like that usually don't end up with many female friends, but not Sumira-chan. Even the other girls she works with love her. Uh... Yo, TF2 God, thank you for the super chat. The sword, the best sword? Craft it. Ah. It's at the blacksmith. I think it's called the Onimaru. Uh, you don't seem so bad, though. Just a bit grumpy. Why don't you try chatting Do her up sometime if you haven't met her yet? In the game. <laughs> You're almost like, lady, are you done? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess I'm good for now. If you'd like to stop for a bit, we'll pick this up next time. You're still not done? Yeesh, don't sound so disappointed. I know I can really go on, but maybe I really should be more considerate with how much I can talk. Good idea. Okay, okay, please bear with me just one more time. I swear. Uh. Alright. Although maybe I should make sure it'll be wor worthwhile to speak with you again. Were you really listening to me this time? Oh, of course. Really. Because I feel like your eyes were closed for a bit at one point. Did I just imagine that? At least, do you remember what I told you? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. For the most part. Then, what, or what order did I list the three colors of the dango at the Otake Tea Parlor? Chat? Help! <laughs> Uh Top. Okay. Red, white, and green. Oh, sh Good job, chat. Wait, isn't that how every place serves their three-color dango? Did he just guess based on common sense? Not at all. I was listening. Alright then, how about this? The tea parlor specialty. The one that's that saved hundreds of lives in Kia. What is it? Zenkai, wasn't it? Ah, uh, Zenzai. Zenzai? Just to make sure. Amazake? Holy shit! I imagine she'd have more energy if she just knew when to stop talking. <laughs> Let's get back to the main topic. What was the name of my favorite mascot girl in OGT parlor? Sumire. I remember that. Susan. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's right. Sumire-chan. No wonder you were so confident. I suppose I finally did uh, find a topic that interests you. No. Well, I think that covers it for now. I've got a solid idea on how much you really listened to what I said. And you were a magnificent listener. A perfect score. <laughs> you must have tried so hard to not to miss a word I said. Thank you so much. I really mean it. No problem. I feel amazing after that conversation. Here, this is for you. Tear of the Dragon. Hell yeah. I'll be here next time looking for a conversation. Stop by if you'd like to chat. No. 
Ryoma, don't come back here. Next time it will be the last. I swear, please. Would you would you be willing to listen, please? No. Uh Okay. <laughs> Yeah, she gave back Ryoma the tear he shed. Uh-oh, is this mark for what I think it is? I think it is. Well, I'm not going back there yet. Because screw that sub story. Uh, yeah. What the? For a second, I thought I was witnessing a fucking El Eldrick being just crawling on the ground. Completed. Okay, uh, I'm gonna check the shrine upgrades actually. What's the best way to farm seals? I would actually like to know myself. As far as I know, just street fights. And hope you get them. Um, second... Function. Right, so I think we have all of these. We have all of the virtue up... Oh, wait. So, wait. Do you actually get a penalty for eating at full health? I had no idea. Might as well get this. Uh, also, what does reputation do? I guess I'll get it. Wait, is this like... You don't need this? You can just get it to like speed things up? Because you can buy it multiple times. Wait. Uh... Reputation... Those are infinite. Okay, well... What do you get out of it? Is it just... Like, it unlocks maybe a substory or something? Um... The golden sword? Yeah, I've seen it, but it doesn't look that promising. Completion list bonus. Okay. Um... So there was a sword, this one. You get more XP, and you get uh, a higher chance of items dropping. I wonder if you can get seals that increase the drop rate as well, just to like add more to the sword. Yo, Pies. Welcome. Hope you enjoyed that unboxing. Uh, you know what? Let me switch it up. Hopefully, the next unboxing we do is uh, RGG Studio giving us a care package. I know, I know what you're thinking. Oh, Leon. Get off that copium. But a man can dream, can't he? Oh. Oh, that's a drop. Um, play the challenges. Hmm. The golden sneak. It's perfect for farming seals. Wait, the golden sneak? Is that a weapon? Golden snake. And is that uh, an accessory? Uh, thank you, Pies. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Um. Oh, okay. Will you be releasing a review of this game like you did with Seven? I I've been like that. That's one of the things that I want to do. I have multiple video ideas. Um, we'll see. 
the thing is, with something like Lost Judgment, for example, I just start like I hit start recording and I just talked about the game and uploaded that. But I'm thinking of instead of doing that this time for Ishian, I would I would do um, like an edited video and just making videos. There's a lot of approaches you could take and trying to decide what to go for. Holy, that's new. Trying to decide what to do is uh, it can take time as well. Reduces bleed damage. Cool, I guess, but yeah. We got something new though, so that's cool. Um, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you don't really even care, like the way I do uh, a, a certain video, for example. But. Like, when you make content, there's a lot that uh, you think about. Because there's content that people who already follow you will watch. But then, you also have to think about... Um, okay, I'm gonna make a video, and I want it to appeal to people that don't... Like, not only follow me, but also, like, potentially Yakuza fans, or... You know what I mean? To attract uh, new people. Speaking of attracting new people, that's exactly... Um, that was one of the main uh, motivations when I was making the the Iceberg video and also the Yakuza 6 and 7 video. Yeah, yeah. And I do want to make more essay videos, I really do, but man, with Ishin, uh just dropping. I have to focus on content for that game as well. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go around farming seals now, or something, I don't know, we'll see. See what happens with this new, uh, sword. Look at the health of this sword. Remember you put this game in B tier, now that's in English, where would you put it? I think I even put it in C tier. In the latest uh, tier list, I put it in C, I think. And then in the older tier list, I put it in D. So with this release, um, probably in B or A. Where would you guys put it? I think this game is mid to B tier. Oh, there's more. I really do enjoy this game, but... Uh, like... Man... You know, I, I think if I if we had, say, a remaster of the original Ishin and this... I know what you're thinking, but... I might actually prefer this over the, the original, overall. Just because, like, the way you get the card system in the main game, and that being, like, an additional layer of uh, strategy, I guess, if you want to call it that. Because, you know... The dungeon minigame is nice and all, but having this... Like, it's like... It's like having, like, miniature versions of all these favorite favorite characters of yours. Like, just sitting in your pocket and you look at them while you, like, fight uh, enemies in the story or outside or anywhere, really. I like that idea. And that gives you an extra reason to care for the uh, cards. For the troopers. Um, and yeah, that, that's, like, one of my favorite things about uh, this stream. Because I think, imagine, like, 
this is probably just a me thing, but man, can you imagine grinding levels without seeing the ca like the faces of your favorite characters on the left? It's like, man, why the fuck am I here? Just to suffer? Look at the same enemies again and again and again, and like... Ugh. Ooh! Mighty. Where was it again? Oh. The power of swordsman charge attack. Nice. I do have the golden gun here. Uh, yeah, I think it would have been nicer if we had like more card layout options. Like for example, they could have made it so that there's like a a very simplified version of like a simplified list maybe on the left of the screen and maybe it's transparent or something. Or that it only shows up when you hold L2. That would have been nice. But it's not like a big deal, really. Silver hammer, okay. I wonder, I'm assuming the drop rate on the weapons also affects the dungeon minigame. So you have a higher chance of getting materials from there. Man about to collapse. By the way, if you don't have money to recruit troopers, these uh, trooper street fights are really, really good. Like, several times now I got uh, legendary cards from them. You fight this guy and he's like, oh shoot, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, here, I'll join you. And who do you see join? Fucking... Tendo, or like, Ichiban or Shinoda. Fucking Tendo. The Golden Pistol doesn't really seem to be special, honestly. At least not in this point of the game, because... It's good. Like, the base stats are really good. Uh, reduces heat gauge consumption as well, pretty good. But... This has more slots. It's slightly more powerful. And I don't think you can upgrade the rarity of this. And Jelly Blade. <laughs> I think I got Sayama from Street Battles too. I'm not sure. I'm not very well versed with the track names of Ishin. Mostly because I think the official soundtrack has, like, all of it is in uh, Japanese. Or almost all of it. Nice, Kira. I might um, invest into a second Shinada. Like, I already have multiple Shinada cards. But I mean, like, you know, max them out, limit breaking, all that. Um, by the way, here's an interesting thing. When you, you know, when you have a layout like this, this is not going to maximize the amount of HP that you get. Because, you know, you're using the same card again and again. But, for example, look at... Look at that, if I put Alex, for example, I get way more HP. Um, yo, TE, you're welcome. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Ricky. No, I haven't finished that yet, but I heard that I can. So I might do it. For now, though, I will go on a mission. Have you finished another life? Welcome. Holy shit, that is... This blade wasn't this sparkling, was it? What happened to it? Wait, wait! It actually jiggles, what the hell? <laughs> they weren't kidding about Jelly Blade, holy shit. Holy... Sword jiggle physics, god damn. Uh -oh. 
Have you ever had a jiggling sword? No? I'll well, play this game with this. Uh-oh. The damage, goddamn. Uh. Right, armor's off. Shinada's ability, such a good ability to have. That is a lot of damage. I need to hear that, hold on. Oh. <laughs> same rock, same. Wild Dancer was better here than the original, I think. Like, it was pretty good in the original. Oh, nice. But I found myself using it way more here. The way the sword just keeps jiggling. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Uh, you can get them from either like trooper street fights or uh, from the enlistment. What? The enlistment in um, you know the dungeon mission counter. Yeah, it's a weird sound. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> no, God damn it. Uh, yes, you can increase inventory slots. Check the shrine. Best style. <laughs> oh no. Uh... Man, would be awesome if you can make the H1 card last longer, but it's already kind of broken the way it is. Dragon Whisker, I'll take that. Buddy. So, for those wondering, how do you get cards? Enlistment, and look at that. That is a shit card, I think.
Nice, I'll take him. Come on, give us a good one. Tendo, maybe? Just saying. That is not Tendo. That is not Tendo. Oh, okay. Nice, Outlaw. I think she's already maxed, but I'll take it. Chat, if I uh, if I asked asked you guys, what is your favorite aspect of the grind? What would you say? The chicken racing, this, the dungeon missions, maybe. <laughs> I know it's like asking you guys to pick between like shit number one, shit number two, and shit number three, but <laughs> if you had to pick, you know, for what it's worth, chicken racing when I stream it is actually kind of engaging. Um, the other stuff is okay. Yeah, dungeon crawling, I think, is most fun, um, when you're doing it alone. I would enjoy the dungeon crawling, uh, off stream. Chicken racing has chickens that are racing, true. Okay, so I think we can upgrade Ishioda and uh, Nishtani. Uh, there's Nishtani. Where's Ishioda? There he is. Okay, that's gonna be the last upgrade for Ishioda and. Him. There we go. Nice. Uh... Okay, I'll just put the cards back. Wish you know that. There we go. And that's it for now. Do you enjoy the card system? I do. By the way, I just found out that Ishin Kiwami is being review bombed on Amazon Japan. <laughs> oh, really? Do you know what else was being review bombed on launch? Yakuza 6. Man, it's still... I kind of get why it happens, but I still get people who say, Oh, Yakuza 6 is controversial? Since when? Um... And it's like, man... No, not you, goddammit. I don't know if these heals are gonna be enough, actually. Yes, that is Sodachi. Yeah, let's hope these heals are gonna be enough. <laughs> Review bombing in general is funny because all you're doing is giving more popularity and the visibility to a game. So, uh, good job. <laughs> And shield up. Um, I didn't check the reviews yet, but man. Oh, 
Um, yo, thank you for the super chat, TF2 God. Thank you. Um, seems like they're concerned about RGG pandering to Western fans. Kind of understandable, but at the same time. I mean, did they do that with this game? Other than the fact that fans really want this game, how did they pander? You know? Thank you, thank you, TF2 God. Like, no matter where you go, you will have elitist fans. It's just like a fact of life. Holy leg. We have a few more heals. This is gonna be enough. <laughs> We also have the Makoto card for more heals. No, what? God damn it. I'm actually gonna use this. Oh my god, sometimes the dodges don't do anything with this guy. See what I mean? Yo, Ichiban. Good, what about you? I do wish they put voice lines for the trooper cards. You know, I actually... I was thinking if they did that, they should have an option to disable it as well, just in case it gets too much. Like, say, for example, you use the cards a lot, you hear the same voice lines like a hundred times. Would be nice to have the option if they did that. JP fans are complaining of it not being a true Kiwami release and just a remaster. That is true, kind of. <laughs> it's not a remake. It really isn't. Like, looking at this from an outside perspective, it is easy to see why Japanese fans might be disappointed, because, you know, they had this game, they've always had it, and so just getting basically the same experience is kind of like, what is the shit? But for us, it's like, holy shit, Asian! Yeah, it is interesting how it's not being advertised as a Kiwami game here, but in Japan it is. So yeah, I, I guess looking at it from that perspective, I can see why uh, fans there might be upset. But I mean, I don't know. Can you imagine this in Dragon Engine? Where like... 
It's fucking scary to think about using the Wild Dancer style in the Dragon Engine. And like doing the spin attack and just seeing like all these goons fly into fucking space. God, that would be so fun. Just Dragon Engine things. You know what? That's enough of this actually. All oh, right. Uh, how long is this game? I want to 100% it. Oh, my friend, you're asking for pain right there. <laughs> Like, the story itself is not long. It's like... 10 to 15 hours, maybe, if you focus on that. And... The side content, on the other hand, oh... You better be ready to sit for like, a hundred plus hour grind. They make Kenzon re-release would be a crime not to be a proper Kiwami release. Yeah. Though, I have a feeling they're not gonna do the same thing with Kenzon anyway, because they did say, like, with Kenzon in particular, they would have to change a lot. So, I doubt it's just gonna be, like, a port to Unreal. They will have to, like, actually change the engine. You're addicted to chicken racing? Nice. Well, at least they're having fun with it, I think. <laughs> um... I don't know. They did say they would have to change a lot, including the story, if they remake Kenzon, so... They're probably gonna change something with, with the... With the plots. sword being so flappy. Look. You see the jiggle physics? Look! Sword jiggle physics, hell yeah. If you want to know where the substories are, inviting hats. I actually got that already. Konnichiwa. I'm thinking of maybe cashing out the tags that I have, but maybe not now. Hmm. Actually, let's go do a sub story. Twelve thousand, hell yeah. Let's fight these guys since they're here. Um, I don't think he can taunt the nation now. Oh, 
No taunting, that's dishonorable. Asian is about honor. Me pulling out the fucking gun style. <laughs> How do you get the package? Uh, Amazon Japan. You might still be lucky and uh, have that uh, available. Because I pasted that in the chat earlier, and the stock went from 5 to 3. Cat dependent man. Oh great, lucky cat. Please accept this gift and grant me good fortune. I offer you a thousand mon. I beg of you. Mind if I ask what's going on? Oh, it's still three? Okay. Oh, you crept up on me there. Mm -hmm. Just look to me like you gave a cat your money. <laughs> oh, don't you know? This is no ordinary feline. This is the great lucky cat. Nani. The what? Hi. It bestows lucky blessings on anyone who leaves it an offering. Oh. Hmm. Did he just turn around? Shh. Look. Oh. oh. I I thought I'd lost this forever. <laughs> this is a dear old charm of mine. <laughs> you see, the great lucky cat has shed its benevolence upon me like so much lucky fur. I'm not sure I buy this. What are you talking about? You saw what just happened. Mm. Well, it's no matter to me whether or not you believe in the cat. My humblest gratitude once again, great lucky cat. I'll come again. Yo, thank you for the super chat, TF2 God. Yeah, that's pretty fun. The lucky cat. This cat's supposed to bring you good luck if you offer him money? That guy gave him a thousand won. Give the cat money. Give the cat nothing. Where can you find them? When you finish the training for each master. Ah, uh, here, I'll post the link. I'd keep it just me, but changing the captain's outfits enhanced my experience. Yeah, thank you, TF2 God. Um... Ugh. Yeah, fair enough. Um... Almost done 100 percent seven. Nice. Wait, 100 percent seven or is the seven a typo? He actually brought me something. White bait. Maybe you think this is lucky. You want it, huh? Well, it seems happy at least. Right. You know what's a good thing about seven though? Compared to this. In 7, if you want to grind for a specific material, a spe like anything specific, you can do that. And, and it's guaranteed. Like, you find a dungeon that gives you something in like particular, you can get it. This game, though... <laughs> oh, here you go. 2% chance to get uh, the Eye of the Dragon. And by the way... By the way, by the way, just to give you, like, an idea. Someone told me the ultimate sword, I think, that you get from Amon. To enhance it, you need 20 Eye of the Dragon, 20 Dragon Whisker, 20-something Dragon. A and it's like... okay. And I think you need to do it three times. Not sure. So I did the sub-story wrap-up. 42 out of 72. We're doing good progress. 20 of each of the dragon stuff. Yeah. So, you know, I, again, I do think a game like 7 did the grinding aspect pretty well compared to something like this. I would much rather like that than... Oh. Maybe. 
you must enhance... Wait, en to enhance it, you must kill 100 enemies with it. And it does 5 damage. What? <laughs> Are the Judgment games grindy? I think Lost Judgment is. Well, it has way more content anyway, so, yeah. Uh, should I invest in these? Mm. Nice, Brian. No need to post the message twice. Once is enough. Hey, Ruth. How are you doing? The dive crews are not worth the virtue. Yeah, especially for training. I found them to be okay for the other, you know, the, the actual styles. Because the cap on that is 25. But the overall level is, uh, brutal. Hmm. How many tickets do I have? A thousand two hundred and fifty. How about we roll that gotcha? <laughs> Yo, Arishi, hope you're having a good day too. like there's no reason to do this I mean I think the most valuable thing is what the silver hammer and it's not really you don't need that <clears throat> okay Brian now you're just saying weird shit no need to spam uh I did finish the dungeons, yeah. Yeah, like, when you look at the prize list of this and then look at the previous one, I feel like there's no reason to do the other one. What if, like, a Dragon Nation was a mobile re-release instead of a console re-release? We have the Yakuza Online for that. Fucking green. <laughs> Best spot to farm hammers? Uh, you can get um, bronze hammers from the blacksmith. If you want, like, guaranteed hammers. And then, I guess the dungeons sometimes give you hammers. Though, if you really want silver hammers, that other wheel is pretty good. You have a chance of getting silver um, hammers. Yeah, hello, welcome. Yeah, what do you even use the cleansing water for? Is it the material? You know what, wait. No, quit, quit, quit. Oh, it's a healing item? Is it good? Actually, wait, let me try it out. A bit of virtue, okay. Oh, 
120. Eh. Cleansing water. Blue. You think yeah, because the game could run on the switch? Maybe, probably. I don't know. Like one and two HD remasters would run per probably perfect on the switch. Maybe the pre-Dragon Engine games in general. Gold Hammer, I'll take that. Nice, not green. Oh god, the bell. Another green. God damn it. Another green. <laughs> Yeah, we moved on from cleansing water to jelly donuts. <laughs> Slideshow. Mm. After one and two on the Wii U, they hated Nintendo. I mean, di didn't they have a problem with the Nintendo even before that? Yo, thank you for the one month, Outlaw. Thank you, buddy. Uh, what does the longevity pill do? It's basically like the, the best healing item from the pharmacy. Which is weird, because it's not like a full health refill, and it's not a full heat refill. You need two, um, to get full heat, I think. Oh well. Depends on how much, uh, like, what's your heat limit. For me, I need two. Warren sword, I'll take it. Stop ringing the bell, damn it! Spirits, okay, okay. Red? I think this is the best, like, healing item. And you can't get it to the pharmacy. Can we get the grand prize again, please? Please? Um. Oh no, the greens are pouring in. Another green. Yeah, I love this team deck so much. Best handheld. 
Oh, you want to play something that's not Steam games? <laughs> you want to acquire games <coughs> totally legit? Steam Decks got you covered. <laughs> the fact that it plays emulators of, like, so many consoles is amazing. Uh, thoughts on those two not getting a remix? I mean, I don't mind, really. The tracks are great enough on their own. And the original Lishian basically had generic boss themes there, so... It still adds more variety. Uh... Um... It's been a while since we did karaoke. I kind of miss hearing it. How do you raise reputation in a district? I think if you do, like, sub-stories around there, maybe, or, like, interact with shops there, you can also raise it from the shrine. If you have virtue to burn. Um... I don't think you can play Lost Paradise on the Steam Deck. I mean, I wish, but... Uh, I'll try. Did we get a perfect score successfully? Holy shit. Oh my god. I think I told you guys, but when I tried to get perfect score to upload on the channel, it took me like, not even joking, around 20 tries. And here we are. <laughs> I'm gonna save Ryoma singing for later. I miss hearing, uh... Nagakura song as well. Hell yeah. <laughs> Do you guys like uh, Saijima's song as well? I love it. it used to be kind of whatever for me, but uh, it grew on me. Thank you. 
Nice face, Saijima. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the super chat, uh, Outlaw. Didn't uh, hear the message. Hell yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Saijima's song is not too difficult to get the hundred on. And then you have Hana. Hana's song can be tricky as well, so we'll see. I'm expecting that's where the perfect streak is gonna end. Triple perfect. Will we see it? Will we? Oh no, she became a statue. <laughs> I still love how how much the song fits the two of them. Like even even with their mainline uh, counterparts. Yeah, it would have been nice if they added karaoke for other characters. Oh, 
Was that a perfect score? I'm not sure. Such a great song. Oh, shit, it was. What's your favorite song? Overall, probably Hell's 2 from 7. Okay, well, we're gonna do an, like a couple other songs. Now the next one is like the easiest perfect score ever in existence. Yes, you do. Uh, you need to do the another life stuff. Wait, what? No, I didn't pick this. God damn it! Sometimes circle is confirm. It's weird. How can he change the lyrics? I've heard he can, but... Oh. All oh, right. Okay, well, um... I've been a fool. And you've been childish. You know what happened? There was a button input that was so fucking late, and I got great on it, and that threw me off. And I fucked up the next input because I was shocked on... Oh my god. Which song is the hardest to play on karaoke? It's coming. It's coming soon. Alaikum as salam, Yeah, easiest song to get perfect. Of course, fate would find a way to screw that over. <laughs> uh. Yo, guys, what if we actually... Okay, we may, we may not have gone in a perfect here. But what if we get perfect on the next song? What if? Just what if? I mean, there's no way, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, perfect on this. So much for that. <laughs> oh. Right from the first fucking line, it was already decided. Maybe we can still save this. <laughs> yeah. 
Focus, focus, chaps. Oh, all you had to do is focus, god damn it. Ninety one you know what, I'll take it. I think that was good. Yeah, I... <sighs> okay, wh how about this chat? We make it- we have a stream. All of the stream is dedicated to trying to, to get perfect score on this. How about that? By the end of the stream, you guys will hate existing, and so will I. Because, like... <laughs> You'd hate the song so much because of how much you'd hear it. You think Bakamita is gonna be the most hated song? Oh, think again. <laughs> oh, God. Don't tempt me, I might actually do it. Any seals? Is this a fight? I've always wondered. I just passed by them. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Ricky. Yeah, I didn't unlock that yet. You forgot Haruka Sin when continuing another life. <laughs> Are you done with chicken racing? Hell no, I'm not. And I, I say that, and I have like 800,000 tags, by the way. And I've already grind it for like a million tags before that. Seal? Damn it. Oh nice, the level up, finally. Those take like... years to get one of them. <laughs> You know, that actually, that unironically sounds like a great stream idea. Uh, trying to get a um, hundred on that one song, I mean. But man, oh. It sounds great and not at the same time. Yes, Amon is in this game. Um. Alright, you guys. Just a second, okay? Be right back. You can have him instead for a bit, okay?
All right, buddy, you did a good job. Let's get you to bed. Oh, this takes this takes a while. Just a second, chat. Just a second. Uh, what did Ryoma say to you guys? Man, I wish we got collector editions like that. Uh... Outside of Japan. But I'm glad I got this one. What's the sword? Sparkling Jelly Blade. Though my main one is this one, Onimaru. I'm assuming there's an item that increases the chances of you meeting the uh, rich guys. the unbox what was in it a lot of stuff you can uh, rewind to see it yeah fabric poster that's what it is uh beef or chicken both what about you guys oh i think the thing happened again you see what i mean by the way with the bugged um Storage? I didn't pick that. Did the collection you have contain a sword? You mean the collector edition? No. No swords. There's a pillow though. See, if I just want to enhance their rarity, I can't do that. Which uh, sucks. Not in particular, no. I think uh, this this box has cool enough stuff. By the way, uh, I think was it Taiwan? I think they got a special collector edition as well. Let me see if I can find it. Actually, show you guys. Uh... Man, there's so many like cool collector editions for Yakuza that are very, like, region-exclusive, and it sucks. Oh, there we go. Watch this, guys. Or look at this. Look at that. A Shinsengumi, uh... I'm, I'm assuming that's, like, a whole Hauri. And you get a Sake bottle and cup a couple of them you get uh, lithographs i guess of a bromide of different characters a calendar of ishin and like <sighs> why don't we get this stuff i'm sure like at this point of time they, these would sell out even if they like uh you know make uh make them for like europe or america or just worldwide it's so fucking cool. And I guess there is a bonus bag as well. 
just... Man. Look at how cool that bottle looks. Oh, chat. Why is it like this? Uh, just a second, actually. Yeah, collectively we are all depressed. Last collector edition we got was... Yakuza 6. And that was how many years ago? Five years ago. Feels bad. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, shit. Hey, guys. Hey, Velvet. Can we have a seal, please? So far, I'm inclined to think the best way to, far to farm seals is just random encounters. But, uh, who knows. Maybe they'll make it so that, I don't know, you have to fucking play Mahjong or something. <laughs> and that's like a guaranteed way to get them. Talk. I've been walking around a lot. I think I'll take a break. Mysterious voice. You bring the stuff? Huh? What the? Where'd this guy come from? The stuff, friendo. The stuff. Uh, stuff? What, you forgot? This time, this spot. That was the deal. Yeah. No, you've got the wrong guy. I was just taking a break. Yeah, th thank you, Velvet. Nobody else seems to be coming. Shit. Guess he got taken out. This is starting to sound dangerous. And this guy doesn't seem like he's Japanese. Sorry for the misunderstanding, but I'll be going now. Slow your roll. Now that the cat's out of the bag, I can't just let you go. You're gonna help me out. Help you with what? You're gonna bring the stuff in my late partner's place. Why me? And I don't even know what the stuff is. Tomatoes. <laughs> Yo, it's you. Welcome. Tomatoes? Your partner got killed over tomatoes? Not so loud. But yeah, that's right. I need tomatoes. Ten of them, to be precise. I think I should have that. Of course, I wouldn't expect a free one here either. You get a hold of the goods, I'll set you up with two Rio. Two Rio for ten tomatoes? What kind of deal is this? Unless you're keen on losing your head, it's it's better you don't ask. Looks like I'm caught up in something much bigger than I realize. Definitely fishy, but it sounds like it pays pretty well. This guy seems desperate, too. Least I could do is bring him some tomatoes. Alright, ten tomatoes it is. That's the magic number, and make it quick, else I might not be here when you get back. The Mysterious Merchant. Okay, ten tomatoes. Remember, ten tomatoes, and keep it our little secret. Okay, friendo? Do I really not have ten? Okay, well... I know what to do. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Ricky. Thank you, thank you. Idea for Ladate Collector, EAU, Majima, or Ichiban Suits for buyers of Collector Editions. Kinda like DMC 5 Nero, Dante and V's Clothing Collector. Yeah, it could be cool. Why not? أحد هزمام ولا أني هزمته أوه مبروك شفت كم من واحد Okay back to the farm Haruka we need tomatoes Haruka Tomatoes! I'll get all of these and reset. And. Tomatoes. Yeah. Holy shit, that is a big chunk of the screen. Okay. 
I'll get... Oh. I've got a letter. Addressed to you. Oh boy. Mm. Another life. Any percent stream? <laughs> Where do we see her again? Nani. Oh right, the receptionist for the taxi thing, right? The taxi place in five. My couriers could lose to an amateur. We were known as the fastest in Kyo. You brought no small amount of shame to our reputation. Not that it's my concern. <laughs> but weren't you trying to ruin your competitors' re reputations? Seems like you reap what you sow. You were a saucy one, Saito-san. I suppose you, ha you have a point. So, why are you here? This doesn't feel like a neighborly visit. Yes, well, allow me to be blunt. I would like you to join my team. You want me to on the Panthers? Just so. As I said, our reputation has been damaged. Rumor abounds of the of Kyo's new speedy delivery man. Swifter even than the Black Panther couriers. Alright, Atla. Thank you, buddy. There's two ways of undoing this. Outrace you or make you one of us. Either way, we remain the fastest in Kyo. Alright. Alright, if you recruit the am upstart amateur, it's just one, one more win for the Panthers. Precisely so. We provide a most generous salary. You would find it quite lavish, judging by the state of your abode. Sorry, but no. I never wanted to be a courier, and I can't say your way of doing business has changed my mind. The Panthers are fast, but there's more to deliveries than, than that. Senders and recipients want their letters handled with care. Uh, imagine Ryoma working in FedEx. Or... Uh, now, that would be a, a safe delivery. Speed's not a bad quality, but heart matters just as much. I think as long as each week deliveries, deliveries like a race, that will escape you. Well, the Black Panther couriers appreciate your valuable feedback. Nonetheless, you, can, you leave me with no choice but to crush you underfoot. For the sake of my business. Delivery for you. A letter. What is this? You'll understand once you read it. Farewell, Saito-san. Uh, the chicken races... Do you need to win more than one race? No, no. You win one race and you leave and save. And then you do it again. I mean, if you're feeling lucky, you can do more than one. But I wouldn't advise it. Okay, can I get back to my fucking tomatoes? Thank you. Oh, wait, not this. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Let me check something. Farm level... Might as well buy these. Let me get some fertilizer to speed up that tomato process. God damn it. Hate when the storage gets bugged. There we go. I think this should be enough, I hope. Uh No, I think we need one more. No, well, okay, that works too. Pray. How long does it take to grow the farm? Uh, takes a while, I think. One more. And this is how you f uh, fast forward the process. Oh, one more? God damn it. Okay, that should be the last one. Just like real life. Imagine you could s 
Whoa, what the? Oh. You know how Skyrim lets you, like, fast forward time? Imagine that in real life. Oh god. Math class? Fucking whip out that uh, fast forward menu. Speed up by an hour. Boom. Uh, right, the tomato guy. We need to go back to him. I still want to see what he does with uh, tomatoes. Uh-oh, ambush. You know what? Let's fight them. Maybe we'll get a seal. Maybe. Anything? No, god damn it. God, all I wanted was a seal. I want these things. Oh no, another ambush. You know what? We'll fight them too. Bring it on. Now, will you guys have seals? Nothing from him. Nothing from these two. There's a cool heat action you can do when you're knocked down. Let me just get some heat. Can anyone? Oh, there we go. Watch. Actually, wait. Do I need to be on my back? Can anyone knock me down? Anyone? I'm waiting. I guess not. Well, you know what? Nice. <laughs> Oh yeah, that heat action I was talking about, the way you do it. I think you press triangle when you're on the ground, or like when you're getting up, one of those two. And it's pretty cool. Lime powder. Okay, got the tomatoes, buddy. Tomi-san and the family vine hit your right? Tomi-san? The hell is he talking? Oh yeah, ten tomatoes. Uh. Yo, Terry. It's okay, like... It has issues, like uh, first time freeze on stuff, but other than that, it's okay. Hand it over, 10 tomatoes. These are some righteous reds. Well done, friendo. Another one for the books. Your reward. Turio. You really want to give me this much for a bunch of tomatoes? If you know what these are going toward, you'd never ask that again. Best keep to yourself, or the tomatoes won't be the only things running red. Oh, the edge. Nani. Wait, what? There's more? There's always more in this line of work. When the time's right, I'll reach out. Just don't get yourself erased. <laughs> okay, so that's a Bond uh, sub-story. We don't need to come back yet. <sighs> that guy sure loved his tomatoes, though. Okay, street fight. Please, let's... Give us a seal, please. Please. A new one, hopefully. You know what? Oh, actually, never mind. Oh. 
Hmm. Yeah, very realistic samurai game. <laughs> uh, this is such a cool looking uh, breastplate. Wait a minute. Heart detector? This is new. Oh, wait, there's more? I'm actually seeing all of this for the first time. Rogue's Mask reveals, re reveals the locations of roaming enemies on the map. Okay, so that's where you get this. A good way to farm the seals? I would like to know myself, because so far the best way seems to be just random encounters and pray for them to drop. Okay, so... This is actually not that bad, I think. White headband. Verge. Oh, wait! What? So you can't craft the virtuous hood from here. What? Dude, this is actually a shocker for me. I'm not joking, like... All this stuff, like, below, like... Below this mask is new to me. I think it's because... So, when you select this mask... You can't go down. Like, to go down, you actually have to go all the way back up to the first selection. And now you can go down. Man, and I never noticed, like, this slider either, so it's, uh... <laughs> I'm blind. So there's the Virtuous Hood. I am definitely gonna craft that. Maybe this is Ziboshi. Gain money while, while you walk. While at low health, heat gate charges. Nishkigoi amulet increases the encounter rate. <laughs> what do the seals do? They're basically the um, effects you add to weapons. War god amulet. While at low health, heat gauge recovers. Health does not recover past critical levels. Wait, so... So wait, th this keeps you at red health and just charges your uh, heat slowly? That doesn't sound too good, honestly. Though this might be good if we, like, we want to farm stuff from Street Fights. And I'm definitely crafting this. I just need the white headband. Um, okay, well, I think I know where to buy... One. Great for risky strats. I see. Was the Warga Talisman the same way in the original Asian? Okay, give us the headband. I might actually use a Kiwami hammer on this to take it to... Uh, Best tier. What matters most in the chicken racing? Arrows or circles? Thing is, I feel like all of these matter, so you have to, like, balance it out, if that makes sense. So, like, say, for example, a chicken has, like, a red arrow, like, you know, pointing upwards. But the stats are, like, um, like, it doesn't have any double circles, for example. I feel like there's still a good chance that chicken might win. Condition is pretty important, I think, but again, it's just... No matter how much, like, guessing you do, or, like, trying to learn what goes into it, you're still not guaranteed to win. But yeah, generally speaking, you want to look out for the arrow, pointing upwards. Uh, double circles for the prediction tap, and also, I feel like past wins, I think it was called, sometimes might matter. Okay, we can actually promote Tendo now. I think I might do that. I didn't see who that was. I think it was a generic card.
Okay, uh... Virtuous Hood. 15 B still. I've never used the Kiwami Hammer so far, but... Give me the goods. This will be very good when I sell all the Platinum Plates. Uh, are you planning an Asian one once you... Yes, 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 yes. I'm just trying to, like, finish everything there is to finish with the, with the combat in particular. Like, it actually kind of made me sad to know that you can't get... Like, to limit... To do the limit break training of all styles, I think you need to get to level 99. And getting to level 99 in a game like this seems like it's gonna take a long fucking time. Like, Lost Paradise kind of long time, if not longer. Um, I ate, like, what, 20? Uh, training, um, Daifku. If you don't know what that is, it gives you XP for the training, uh, for your overall level. 20 of them at this level gave me one level. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> brutal. By the way, there was one heat action with Wild Dancer. I want to get it, but I think... I'm not sure if you have to do the limit break training for it, or... Oh! What? Okay, I always could have unlocked this then. Give me this. I was like, okay, where do I get this from? I'll take that. Ugh, to be stupid. Enemy attacks from behind with a sword, I'll take that as well. Do you need a card of... Yeah, you need the level uh, 99 to use uh, the orb thing. Actually, speaking of that... I No, I can't buy any right now. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. I hit 99 a few hours ago. It took me 45 hours of nothing but dungeon grinding to get... God damn, dude. <laughs> Like, I wonder, between that, this and Fist of the North Star leveling, which one takes more? 45 hours is a long-ass time, holy shit. Limit break. I think it um, in increases your heat limit, and I don't know what else it does. Oh, nice! Another seal. Grinding stream win. When do you guys watch? Would you watch? That is the question. Oh, wait, I need to... Okay, so, uh... Let me equip... Virtuous. Hood. Okay, so now we know the answer to the Virtuous Hood mystery, at least. Have they fixed the single-use deluxe items? No. I don't even know if that's a bug. It seems like it's intentional. Which uh, sucks. Drew base get for mention for the heat action. I see. Yeah, I need to go back to that too. Okay, so. 827,000 uh, tags. I'm gonna get this just once to be able to get more uh, promotion <clears throat> orbs for the troopers. Can you play with the Japanese menu text in this game? I, I suppose. Like, the, the menu is not the most confusing thing to me. Uh... Yeah, probably. Haven't you been grinding this whole time? Yeah, like, I've been grinding different things, but yeah. Oh, nice, another seal. You should get training doctors again. You only need two more levels to limit break Wild Dancer. Wait, what? I thought it was maxed. Yeah, it's all maxed. Does the limit break training increase the, the level cap for the styles? 
<coughs> oh no. Okay, let's see how much virtue we get from this. 35,000? Hell yeah. Okay, um, I'll take some of these. Yeah, the hood adds like what, an extra 7,000? No, wait, 8,000, I think ish. Do you get seals back if you dismantle? It's a, uh, it's a chance based thing, so you want to save before you dismantle a weapon for the seal. I think inherent seals, like for example, let me show you. So, this one, for example, the sparkling jelly blade, both seals on it right now are inherent, like, they, they're just part of the weapon, and you can't upgrade them. Those, I don't think you can get if you dismantle a weapon, because, you know, it's part of the weapon. But say, for example, this right here. See how the seals have different icons around them, like the frame? If it has that four arrow pointed um, seal it means you can't get it I don't think but if it's if it looks like the other one then you can oh yeah you definitely want to save before you dismantle Shinbei the cannon guy okay Okay, so I'm gonna promote Tendo. Tendo, sir, you get a promotion. You've been doing a great job. Clearing enemies with one blow. And look at that. The thing I'm wondering about, though, is can you promote them multiple times? Like, say you take them to level 99 again. Is there a second promotion? And was this a thing that was in the original? I see. Yeah, I wonder if he can actually add multiple elements. Why does troop morale increase very little when you eat? I think it depends on when you, what you eat. If you eat more expensive stuff that heals you more, you probably get more of an increase. You confuse and promote fun pause when you, Right, okay, yeah. I always forget little stuff like that, and I end up spending more time on something than I need to. Okay, so I think this is a good place to recover uh, Trooper Morel. Oh my! You require the specific sword to promote the troopers. But wait, that's a thing here as well. I think I know what you mean. So. There's mo like there's multiple ways of enhancing your troopers. So promote, you do that with the promotion jewel. And then you can also fuse duplicates to increase the trooper ability. And then you can also upgrade the corporal trait. That's the one you do with a weapon, see? Um, Sayako wants eternal gold, for example. So is it... Did, did the original have the same like upgrade system for every one of these categories? Or did the original just not have as many things to upgrade? Why can you only equip three, but sometimes four? You need a card that increases the trooper slots. That's basically what it is. H1 can allow you to equip a fourth um, trooper. Uh, 
William's camp, oh, they got, we'll give you a book for five bear carvings. Right, I need to check. There's a lot of stuff to check out, goddamn. Yo, Isaac, thank you for the seven months, buddy. Thank you, thank you. I see. Man, you know, there could be a whole fucking stream, or two, even. Trying to explore uh, or test out the different loadouts with the cards. And I kind of want to do that now. Yo, thank you, thank you, Isaac. Thank you. I feel like I wanted to do something and I can't remember. Oh! Y wait! Holy! Okay, that's really good. Wait, wait, wait. First time I get this kind of seal. Hell yeah! XP increases. So... I feel like the best kind of thing to add... Uh, this onto... Is an accessory or a weapon or armor that already has like built-in XP increase, so that way like you double it. Uh, the virtue seal, you mean this one? I have one of them. I I, I don't know if there's like more of them, but th this seems really good. Yeah, I, I was I was thinking the exact same thing actually. We, when we got this yesterday, I think it was, we were talking about that. Say for example, you get like a million virtue. And then I assume the highest percentage you can upgrade this to is like 3%. 3% of a million is what, 30,000? There's an attack virtue seal as well? Oh no. <laughs> oh god, that's gonna be busted. Yo, Eric, how are you doing? The attack caps at 3,000. Okay, well that, that is still a, a lot, like, man. I'm assuming the defense as well caps at 3,000. I mean, right now... So, here, here's what I want to know. Oh, 2,000. Okay. How can you enchant Muramasa? I think you take it to someone in... Uh, what's the area called? Here. Uh, Moku Ragai. There's a guy sitting there. Oh, hey guys. Man, the whole seal system is really fun to explore to me. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. It has a lot more micromanagement compared to other Yakuza games. I almost always fail this. Oh, there's more of them than I expected. Uh, make a guide on weapon and armor, man. Thank you, thank you, Tinkle. Yeah, the thing is, if I make a like a guide on armor and weapon, how would it be? Would it be just, hey guys, here's the best weapon, here's the best armor? Good luck, have fun, enjoy the game. Or would it be like... I don't know. Uh, a low chance of success. Right. I, what I probably would do is I would save and then try to smith. I did that for uh, improving... What was it again? I think it was on... No, wait, not this. On this, I think. No, wait, was it on this? God, I don't remember. I think on one of them. Like, I put a seal, and I saved first, and then I upgraded, and when it didn't work, I just loaded. Okay, I feel like I wanted to do something, and I can't fucking remember. My mind's got lost into all this uh, micromanagement, if you will. Um... 
Oh yeah, let me go to the Scarecrow Chateau. That's how you pronounce it. Uh, experience seal on the virtuous hood. That's a good idea too. Like, man, the beauty of the virtue system, or the sorry, the seals, is that he can make weapons based on like different needs. So he can make like, so this has increased XP and a drop chance. He could just put another like XP and drop chance. Uh, like a uh, seal on it, or say, you know what I mean. Th there's so much to experiment with and work around, uh, work with. Hey, Otto, welcome. Oh, <sighs> Elegant hair on. By the way, something about this game. I'm pretty sure in the original you didn't get pushed back whenever you blocked, right? That's uh, interesting how they did that here. Oh wait, not there. Okay, so, hey Marius, welcome. Yeah, they definitely tweaked some hit stuff like that. Okay. Mm. Wait, what? Did it reset my progress? I'm pretty sure I did a few rooms uh, when I was still playing the story. I guess not. Okay. I see. Crystal... Are these, um... Do, the, do you get the same reward again if you play, or no? Is it just like a one-time thing? One time, okay. Right, not bad. Turn on the brawler. So each time you're assigned a style, or sometimes not, but this time I am. Hey guys. Oh, there's more of them back there. Okay, uh, eight seconds, seven. Nice. I think I got stuff in the fifth room when I was doing this at first, and then I just stopped. Swordsman. That was a little more... That was a little easier than I expected. The music is too loud. Is it? Looking at the mixer here, looks okay. I think I'm just... I was speaking quietly. for me. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, I think it was this challenge actually that I just didn't find the trick to, so I just stopped. Do you wait for the golden ones, I think, here? Wait, what? Okay. I actually thought I was gonna fill that. Uh, the R2. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about that. Ryoma, what the hell? Seen this shit, guys? <laughs> uh, hey, buddy. Okay. Another one done. Seven gunmen again. Dancer, finally. I was waiting for that. Okay. God damn. The golden one? Another golden one. Nice. Bronze hammer. Okay. Nice. Well fail. Another wild dancer cha uh, challenge. I'll take it. Beautiful dance, Ryoma. Charming doll. I'll take it. <sighs> okay, last room in the basic tier. Free. Probably best thing to use Wild Dancer, I assume. Just because it's so agile. Uh. Hey, buddy. What are you doing up there? Okay, there's a lot of them here. I need to keep the R2 ability. Oh, never mind. Okay, I was I was just about to say like, oh, the R2 ability might come in handy sometime, but we finished. Man, I can only wonder how insane the other tiers get. So platinum fillings, filings. Uh, oh, there's the... You know what? Let's just do this. Skip right into the, re the Revelation book. See how it, it's gonna be like.
Damn, okay. Book of Revelation Strike. Hell yeah. Okay, well, if we manage to do that, I think each one of these won't be too bad. Okay, we're going reverse order this time. See how that goes. Wait, was this one Brawler? No. Oh, no. Fuck it. No! Come back! Just doing that spin move is really good. Hey, buddy. Gunman? No, don't shoot. Oh, my God damn it, dude. Okay. Oh, we have someone behind us. No! God damn it. Yeah, this is unpeaceful. Oh no, there's a lot of them. Oh, where were you when I was there? God damn it. Oh, golden ones. Golden ones. Nice. Okay. Okay, we got three of the golden ones. Not bad. Ryoma. Dude. Oh. God damn it, dude. You <laughs> had one jump. Oh, golden ones. More golden ones. Can you actually hit them with the R2 ability? It doesn't seem like it would work. Okay, well, we managed to do this one. Broken compass, I'll take it. You need to unlock the next difficulty to get the Wild Dancer one. Right, yeah. We'll do that. You can, okay. Sword they're using? Uh, something Jelly Sword. I need to look at the name again. Uh, Phoenix Feather, sure. The flow buff. Yeah, what's it called? Sparkling Jelly Blade. There we go. And by the way, that's not like the strongest sword or anything close. That's the farming sword for me. Gives you uh, extra XP and uh, drop chance. Man, th did I ever tell you guys how much of a sucker I am for bonus, like drop chances or anything like that in games with uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just with stats like this, I love uh, drop rate chance increases. Hey, Mimi, how you doing? Uh, six gun. Okay. We're using the gun. Oh. Uh, shoot! Dude! Ah, the oh my god damn it, dude. Do I have to get in front of each and every single one of you? I mean, I could probably, like, just do this, but... Nice, dude. I think I know what happens. Like, the hitbox of the wall is still there. Uh... Oh. Back from the hospital? Hope everything's okay. Okay, I need to be faster. Yeah, peak Yakuza gameplay right here. Be 
faster. Time, maybe. Oh, let's fucking go. <sighs> now I see. Was it? Was this gunman too? I think it was. Bring on the guns. Twenty seconds. Go, Ryoma. Nice. Uh oh, I'm out of heat. Can I? Yes, I can. Don't wait. Oh, this is for health. Uh oh, I think I need to get more. Uh... Oh, wait, I can do this too. Brain, think sometimes, damn it. I keep forgetting that first combo exists sometimes. Uh... Oh wait. Uh... Oh right, is he just giving advice? About training? Wait. I did finish the main story, yeah. I need to change the costume. I've been using this one for a while. Okay, so, swordsman. I've been play replaying these three whole days and made it to level 70. Wait. You mean you've been replaying these missions for XP? Back to chicken head? By popular demand, we go back to chicken head. Okay, one more, maybe? Yes, nice. Uh... I was wondering if, like, you could get the seal that, it, like, gives you XP gain. It's really good to know that they do exist. Because I thought maybe they would have some seals that you can only find on, like, exclusive equipment and nowhere else. And I thought the XP one might be one of those, but no. Oh no. Am I supposed to use what I think I am supposed to use? Can you, like, chain these? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Okay, maybe they're... Oh, fuck. Yeah. Do you want to get all of them? Uh-oh. Can we do this? No! No! Oh! Just... Oh, well, we surpassed the expectations, I think. That works! That works. Okay, well, a brawler. No, not a, not a gun scarecrow, goddammit. I have a lot of time for this one. I hope it's good enough. For... Oh, they don't want to get the golden one. Oh shit. Fellas, let's knock this out, come on. Continuous... What is that? Oh my god, no! <laughs> okay. Okay, let's hope I did good enough. 
for the score. Uh, oh, oh shit! Hey guys! Come back! Let's hope that's good enough. I think it is. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Ah, oh, Jingu Simulator, yeah. <laughs> you love Jingu? We got you covered. No, I don't have that pistol. I crafted uh, another ultimate one, mo Model 14. Is the Dragonhawk the best one? Like, it feels difficult to say, to de like, determine the best equipment in this, ga this game, because I feel like all of them have their uses. Wait, was this one free or... No. Dude. Okay, there's a bunch of golden ones. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. Is golden gun the best gun? I don't think it is, actually. I had high expectations for it, but it didn't seem like... Hell. Let's go for the last one first again. Is this one free? Yes, it is. Okay, I thought it was funny how they put that one behind like something and they could still like kill. Oh, okay, time to go back. No, shoot. There we go. Golden ones? Not yet? Okay. Any golden ones? Not yet. Oh. Wonder if that was good enough. Oh no, that is not even close, goddamn. Okay, I assume... I feel like maybe the gun R2 ability is helpful here. The best gun in the game? I I don't know. It was the best in the original, but Kiwami nerfed it a lot. I see. Why didn't Sega make you a card? Oh, man. Um, I heard there was some kind of content creator application, and I didn't know that existed. I think that's mainly why. I don't know. If, like, if the application thing is true, I think it happened at a time where I wasn't super active, especially on social media. Oh no, we have a gun guy. Oh, I have golden ones. God damn it. Let me get some of them. Dragonhawk, I see. What would you say makes it the best one? Okay, we did okay on that one. That's a lot of golden boys. Oh, 
fucking need. Uh oh. I see. What? Okay, that little square blocked me. Uh -oh. Gonna get him first. Okay. Blade boys. Uh oh. No! Uh oh. Hope the time is gonna be enough. Oh shit. Oh, maybe this actually works best. No! Do it! Do the R2 thing. Uh oh. Oh, the blade ones are so annoying. Okay, well, that's that. Fast shooting and double bullets, I see. With almost the highest attack value. Nice. Uh, 40 seconds. We have 40 seconds. And we can only use the sword sword. The uh, sword style. Sword sword, yeah. Uh-oh, don't think I'll get the last one. No! Okay, that was good enough. I'll take the doll. Okay... By the way, is it the same song, just looping? <laughs> How is it going with you guys? Hope it's not too bad. If you were in the game, what would be your ability? I don't know. Never thought about it, honestly. What do you guys think? I'm going crazy? Okay, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. Maybe I summon a big flopper, and then he devours the enemy. Let's play something more soothing. What do we play? Instantly win the game. <laughs> Sad substory music. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> uh, instantly win the fight, and then after that, play the sad substory mu uh, music for a bit, and then you recover health from that and heat as well. But then you start to lose health because you realize how fucking horrible the music is. And that's it. Uh, let me put something more soothing, like this. How's this, guys? Better? We can't jam in, hell yeah. Uh oh. Time! God. Nice, just barely enough. What should be the name of the sad sub story music in Zero? And now that's an excellent question. <laughs> um. Horrible music. No! Quieter? Hold on.
Beautiful. Nice. Okay, so one, two, three, four. God, this combo is so satisfying to look at and just watch the effects of. Oh god. Okay, maybe I should do that one ability. Come on, Ryoma. Nice. Uh oh, golden boys. Oh, lots of golden boys. Nice, we did it. One second left. like the perfect room to use that ability in. No! Ryoma, shoot that. Yeah, there we go. Holy shit! <laughs> boom, 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 boom! Pew, 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 pew. Oh. oh, there we go. I think this is so far like the most satisfying one for Gunman. We have a lot of time, what the hell? Who the hell tested this one? Put that time in another one of the missions. Okay, wild dancer time. Trying to max out all the styles and Ishian is their faster way. I don't know, like the way I maxed out the fighting styles themselves, not the general level, is with the XP items. I think that's the fastest way for them. But otherwise, I don't know. I guess the dungeon battles are decent later on. But you know that that would require uh, a lot of time. Like, like I don't know how the XP system works, honestly. Like I guess you get a general, like you get XP that is that goes towards your overall level once the fight is done. But I don't know if that XP also, like, if the same amount of XP also goes to your style you're using, or, like, it gets divided. I, I have no idea. Nice. Uh, I think they're stuck until you swap. Okay, so... A few more missions in this category. Do uh oh. That's a lot of boys. Holy. Look at him dancing! God damn. Um No idea. There's a lot of unnamed tracks. Close to this wall, it doesn't hit anyone. S like some of the time. Hold on. 
See? Like, I don't know what's up with that. Oh, nice. No, wait. Timer went out. What? One star? Okay, I'm... I'm doing something horribly wrong. Okay, so maybe... Oh god damn it, not the blade ones. Oh my god. Two stars this time. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go get more uh, more of those uh, pills. Yeah, it is an interesting choice. I guess maybe they didn't want to put too much effort into this. And they're putting that effort into maybe the Gaiden and 8, maybe, is my guess. Because, you know, it did have some issues at launch as well. Oh, wait. I forgot to take the items. <laughs> nice, Leon, nice. One, let me buy it till I finish. What antique items? So, you have to come to this particular spot, I'm pretty sure. No, wait, not here. Um, you have to go around here, I think here. You'll meet a guy, and that guy will go to the pawn shop to sell him some stuff, and that's how you finish it. Um, there we go. Yeah, I, I think if 8 and Gaiden are going to be, like, a more polished experience, then yeah, th that definitely would just mean they give, gave this to a smaller team. Uh... Okay, so I'm thinking to use the gun again for this bro, because look at that. Okay, now we can focus on these guys. And we can have multiple of them line up like that. We do this. Multiple times, maybe. Going faster than before? Oh no, Priyoma! Shoot the. Yeah, there we go, nice. Oh no. The hitbox can be so fucking weird. Oh, we actually finished it this time. Without using, like, extra heat. I guess. I mean. Uh. The pill was nerfed? Really? Damn. It is kind of weird, because you do this whole sequence where you're 
like trying to create the ultimate medicine. And I was surprised to see it's not a full heal and a full heat refill too. Yo, welcome, welcome. Got more boys there. Beautiful. Okay. Uh oh. The tanky boys. Okay. I love how these can land like multiple hits on the enemy at the same time. I think I heard from someone that it wasn't the same way in the original. I think it was in the snowiest video, actually. He said something like that. Oh, be we have so much extra time, too. Beautiful. Ref refills all HP and heat. Yeah, that, that sucks. Nice editor. The arena. Reliable, remarkable rewards. Relix. Nice. Let me just save here, actually. Uh So is it actually worth buying the training divecos? Cuz the level with them is the XP with them is very like slow. Rogue's mask. I wonder how this is like. So we need to get 17,200. I just noticed as well but they start you on like they tell you. Okay, we move forward. Uh -oh. Not this again. Okay. Uh, hey, buddy. Okay, thank you, buddy. Most likely month they talk about Gaiden? I don't know. Like, assuming it comes out, like, later this year, like fall, for example, we might get a trailer in summer? Is my guess. But who knows? Holy, look at all the golden boys. Oh, yeah, we had a lot of time. What? Oh, so that's what they give us. Okay. Um, That's kind of an underwhelming final reward, I think. Platinum plates. Used to sell... 15 real in the original. So that was nerfed too. Training death is alright. What else he's gonna spend the virtue? True. I think. Oh, hey guys. Um, if you care about the card system, I guess the promotion jewels are pretty nice. Um, and also, if you really go out of your way to craft stuff, I guess. Some of the materials in there are nice shortcuts. Like, assuming you have everything maxed. Ah, the knife guy. Scarecrow. Again. 
So, but, but wait, wait. I heard... I heard in some aspects of the game that grind was actually reduced. So, was that not true then? Yeah, it's kind of interesting, actually. Some things are made better and others are just... See, that's what I mean. Uh, Zio here says the blind was worse than the original, apparently. Uh... Nice, we managed to finish that. Doll on a stick. Rebalancing? Yeah, that makes sense, too. to waste your time now, god damn it. Oh, golden boy. Hey, fellas. Okay, come back. Oh, okay, I guess I got all of them. Uh, go, 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 go. Yeah, maybe, that is true. I feel like the, the healing cards, they're they're really good, like, they're pretty much full heals, but the way it takes a long time for them to recharge doesn't make up for the fact that some healing items were nerfed, you know what I mean? Uh-oh. Okay, wait a bit. There we go. One more, I guess. There's a lot of time left. Hell yeah, going to. Good luck. The dungeons are easier as they cut levels that require certain types of cards. Really? Yeah, honestly, that does sound kind of bad. Yeah, she know that does break everything. Torn Howdy. And if you really want to annihilate a boss too, add each one to that loadout. Ichiban and Shinoda. Uh -oh. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh no. Can we? You know, would be nice if there was a restart button here. Oh, look at the gunshots. Nice. No, not nice. Shit. He's destroying me. Oh. What happens with that, by the way? Like, when you dodge and you get that effect, what does it mean? Oh, no. Oh, that looks like a bad... Like an... Oh, my God. It is, a... it is an annoying time. Okay, so... I know what I need to do, I think. that again. And again, I guess. Let me actually hide here. I don't know if it's gonna do anything. But... Oh my god, look at them move. Leveling styles is the same as original? I... I don't know. I guess it is. Alright, boys. Playtime's over. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice to know that the bullets have wide reach. Or... Far reach. Nice. Nice! That's what I like to see. 
Not them, you... Oh, look at all the golden boys, god damn. Buddy, did he just turn around? Gonna get them first. <laughs> all your golden boys are mine. Nice, we actually have a good amount of time left too. God Slayer is Talisman, hell yeah. The Platinum nerf. The Platinum Plate nerf. That sucks. Um, did they nerf any, like, Virtue grinding as well, by the way, or is that the same? Wait, is this what I think it is? Bring out the groups, cowards. Don't single target me. There's a lot of time for this, it's kind of... Oh, there's a lot of blade guys. Okay, well, to clear those guys, I'll use this, actually. Carlos, speaking of actually, when was the last time you got actually by someone? <laughs> actually. Ishin is about one. No one uses guns in Ishin. Actually. I just realized, wait, I just realized I have the same fucking song playing. Let me change things up a little bit. Uh, I think this is a good replacement. Dragon Whisker, I'll take it. What chapter? This is a premium adventure. <clears throat> Actually, Ishin means extreme. What? <laughs> what was that? They have fucking god armor now or some shit? <laughs> yeah, glad you guys are enjoying uh, this content. Thank you. <laughs> I know the Scarecrow minigame is like one of the most exciting things I've seen. No need to get crazy over it, I know. No, Ryoma, why do you fucking shoot me? Oh my god. Ryoma! You're a fucking idiot. Why is Ryoma not the smartest sometimes? Okay, let's see what, we, what they have there. Nice circle of friends we got there. Too bad. I'm here. Uh oh. Uh oh. That is not good. Carlos? Uh oh, we have another gun guy actually. Oh, not the blade guy. We got a surprise for you. Boom. We actually did it. Nice. They made the, the revelations faster, for example. They don't grind the, grind the same attack for 50 hours anymore. Oh man. I did hear like you had to do the same move a lot of times, but I had no idea. I was like. Multiple hours, kind of, you know, long. That is good, though. Uh, you can use the left stick. Wait, do you mean with the R2 thing with the gunman? No, dude! Who are you? Oh. The thing is, I am using the left stick. But we almost still like, oh, I'm gonna shoot the guy behind the wall. I think I know what you mean, but let's see. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, look at the... Nice, nice. Nice, buddy. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Crimson bead. I hate the ninjas. Yeah, I, I did notice that too. Like, the ninjas, not only can, can they, like, stun you, which can really easily lead to your death because of what they do next. And they also have this combo string. I think it's like... <clears throat> if they land two hits of it, you can die. If the stun uh, immunity is a seal that we can get, that would be really crazy. Because the thing about like equipping that stun immunity accessory, maybe you have something else that's better. Like something with just much higher defense, which is exactly my case actually. When I got to like level 3 of the dungeons at first, I was like, oh shit. Just really trying not to get hit. Because, like, everything one. basically, like, one shot me. Uh. Yeah, this was supposed to be a short stream, but here we are. I don't know, I'm having way more fun than I thought I would. Um. Maybe it's because we're not, like, reading half the time or something. Oh, no. Sorry. I thought a golden guy showed up. Why do I say guy? It's a scarecrow. Oh, no, not the gun ones. Oh no. Oh, you bastard. So you like the fight, huh? Uh oh, a lot of golden ones. Your viewer count skyrocketed during Asian release? I know. I think around the first hour there were like 700 viewers. That is crazy for me. What was even crazier though? I always bring it up at the summit. Oh no. I need to learn to use the R2 abilities better. I still can't believe it. 2,000 on the summit. God damn. And the chat was just flooding. Uh, okay, we have one more mission, I guess. Uh, thank you, Swaggy. Happy to hear you're enjoying this. Oh no, gun guy. I see you. Uh oh, another one. God damn it. And of course they put him there. Taking the risk. I'm gonna. No! God damn it, dude. Okay. Now I can get. No! Uh, three stars, please? No. Does this. Can the summit count as a national day? It kind of was a national day for my channel. <laughs> The gun guy. They made Final Fantasy VII release day as an actual national day? Really? Who did? People or just uh, Square Enix? 
No, I think I'm... Am I limited? Yes, I am limited to Baldur for this one. Oh no. I'm not gonna have enough time for this. Oh, God damn it. We're gonna have to try this again. Square Enix themselves. Okay. All I know is, like, when it comes to National Days, apparently America loves to make new ones for everything. Oh, National Burger Day. National... Something day, I don't know. Oh, there he is, okay. We got him early this time, so let's hope... Uh... I do have a dash attack, actually. Hold on, let me try using that. Okay, we finished all of them, I think. Stupendent. Stupendent. You've done it all, lad. Demand for the design and the scarecrow carvings I've distributed. Okay. Um, okay, let's see the revelations that I got. Which ones were they again? I think Strike is one of them. No, wait. Evasion. Repeat. I actually don't remember which ones I got before. So, wait, I I'm pretty sure this one I got before. Swordsman. Yeah, this one I also had before. Evasion and Strike, okay. So, Dance of Mourning. And... War Cry Counter. Oh, wait, Evasions. Wild Dancer Evasions and Wild Cry Counter. Now, is the Wild Cry Counter... Just to make sure. Is it... The, oh, okay, is it the normal parry then? Okay. Okay. So that's the one we unlock. And for this, it's that. Actually, wait. So, did they really lower the amount of heat you can uh, store? Or can you still increase it to like nine, nine bars? Okay, so parry in Brawler and keep dodging with... Uh, what's it called? Wild Dancer. Hey guys, I will go back to the hideout to change stuff. If you're... Okay, if you break there, okay. Good. I was worried. I never got that far in the original to know how you do it. This guy's pretty tanky. God damn. There is something I want to test. The Song Kui uh, Corporal trait. Though I guess it's better to leave the testing for until I max all of them out to really see how effective all of them are. Me and Leon need a few weeks until limit break. Boy. <laughs> uh, a few weeks? God damn, dude. A light into finisher combo. Wait. Yo, Sugar, how you doing? We've done like 50 something subcores, I think. Okay, so. Yes. 
Yeah, I missed the infinite sprint too. I just realized I'm still playing the fucking Nishki theme. Oh my god. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, I really should put my headphones on. Though, having said that, actually. Uh, wait. It kind of sucks you can't use the photo mode in combat. Right, this is not it. Light into finisher. Okay. One shot quick time events? Sure, why not? Yeah, I've they don't I've done all the karaoke songs already. Attack! There we go. Let me take out the armor for all of them. Okay, nice. What's on the menu today, Chef Leon? Just making progress. You need to perform heat action after countering. Someone said you need to do a combo. Because if I do heat action now... Okay, parry, hit your opponent once, move back a little. Okay, okay. God damn it. I've gotten um, a bunch of other revelation moves. I'm assuming there's more as well. Wait, did I? What's that? I love how huge the parry window is, by the way. Alright, let's read the description. Repeatedly executing the war cry counter. Basically, like, here it says just keep countering. Uh... We don't have music anymore, yeah. So wait, wait. Parry enemy attacks, executing war cry counter. Is the war cry counter not the same thing? Because someone said so earlier. Let me turn back the music on. <laughs> Do it to someone that's not using a, a weapon that's not a sword. Hold on, just to make sure. Right, well, okay. So it has to be a weapon that's not a sword? Is that a, like, actually a thing? Let me kill this guy, though. Oh, my God. 
You can only unlock it once you actually do the thing. You have to lock. I'm locking on though, guys. I'm getting a lot of mi like different mixed signals and like. Oh, this guy has to not have the sword. Oh, this guy has to like poop his pants, pants first. But yeah, you actually have to do the revelation for the thing to unlock. So we can't unlock it just yet. Hold on. Yeah, so essence of grand bruising. Repeatedly execute the counter. Let me just try to, like, repeatedly parry like they say and we'll see what happens. I'll just do this like a million times. Buddy, it's your turn. Wait, what? I had it? You don't press triangle right now, because that's another heat action, which we did like a couple times. like they wanted to evolve the system where you like unlock um, extensions to heat actions but this is kind of this is odd and apparently it's worse in the original too because you had to, to do it like for hours Perry hit the person one time move back Do not. Yeah, it doesn't mention anywhere that you have to hit them either. So weird. You know what else took a while for me to actually get? Uh, I think it was the Gunman uh, Revelation book. There was one book that worked almost instantly for me. But yeah, then you have this. I think the gunman book took the most time. I guess it's randomized? I don't know. the Wild Dancer one was the fastest one uh, for me as well. Wait. You attack once after the parry. Okay. I think out of all of them, this is the weirdest uh, revelation book so far. Especially if the whole attack the enemy first thing is true. Just 
face them out. Yeah, that does make sense. Parry, and then attack the target normally. Hopefully the next time you parry, you can hit the ac heat action button. Wait, I think I was able to hit it there. Hold on. I don't think I was imagining things. Let me let me just end this fight, actually. They're about to die anyway. Let me move on to the next one. Yeah, I think that might have been it. Looks like I'm not the only one who noticed. <laughs> okay, we have our next target here. Um, I think it's the counter itself. Okay, someone said it doesn't work with swords, but that is interesting. Oh. I think... Was that it? Nice, hitbox. There we go. <laughs> Holy shit, what a weird way to get the move. You know what this competes with? Finding or getting back all of the Kumaki moves in Yakuza 2. Oh, uh, you have to get to chapter 11 and then go to this acupuncturist and then go fight an actual tiger. And then... <laughs> like, dude, you learned these moves in Yakuza 1. Why the fuck do you need to do all of this? But yeah, th that is such a cool system, though. But I think it definitely needs to... <sighs> to have more work put into it. Well, well, not more work. It just needs to be fun to use or work better. Okay, now we can actually unlock the thing. Though, because I don't have orbs, I can't do that. But that is good to have. Now, Wild Dancer. We need to repeatedly dodge. This is probably the easiest one, or maybe one of the easier ones. I wonder if you actually have to dodge attacks or just dodge. Yeah, swap, same. You know, that's one of the reasons why the upgrade system in Yakuza 4 is my favorite. Because pretty much every single... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Pretty much every single move that he's learned over the years is, in, is there in Yakuza 4. And you can just get it as soon as you want. I love that. Now let's see this one. Oh... That's a lot of damage, goddamn. Okay, well, more heat actions is always nice to have, so I'll take that. Nice drop. Yeah, that heat action was in the demo. I did it as well. No, this is not the Bone Chewer, this is... something uh, jelly sword. Okay, well we've done that. Now the question is, what do we do now? <laughs> There's so much to do in this game. Okay, do we unlock... You know, I think I'm actually gonna unlock this one. Because I just use Wild Dancer... Wait, oh! Oh, that was not an, an orb, that was the lock um, counter. What difficulty was your first playthrough? Legend. So this is still on Legend now. The best way to upgrade the blacksmith. Yes, that's basically the way I did it. Like, if money's not a problem, which... Um, if you're focusing on the blacksmith level mode and all that, it shouldn't be. Uh, I do think that's the fastest way. The wanted man thing. I did one quest and then they were like, oh, come back later. I thought maybe re-entering the building would be enough. But it seems like you actually have to do something, I guess? I don't know. <clears throat> did you get the other book? I'm not sure, actually. Let me check. I, I think I didn't, know. The only books I got for those two styles are... Uh, uh, f like, from the training masters themselves. So... Brawler, Brawler, Wild Dance, Wild Dance. Yeah, so I'm missing the Sword and Gunman one. Did you get those two? 
Which one do you like more? This or the original? Probably this, honestly. Oh yeah, the the tr uh, the no, I didn't buy that book. I'll go there. Do I have the thing they need though? I think it was the bear carvings, right? Oh, another experience seal. Let's fucking go. Oh hell yeah. Oh wait. Wait. Why did I never notice this? Square and sphere. I guess, wait. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, gear and weapons. That That is sick. That is really sick. But yeah, I'm only now noticing that, uh, you know, square is for gear and sphere is for weapons. Cannon minigame. Cannon minigame. And after doing it the first time, you'll get it. Okay. Well, let me check the materials, actually. Okay, I have exactly five of these. So I should be able to get it. I gave the blacksmith 200 blades only to raise his level by 2. Here's here's something better you can do. When you go to the weapon shop, get as many of the cheap blades as you can, but also as many of the pistols as you can, as many as of the armor as you can, as many of the headband, everything. If it's like 1,000... Mon, I think? Yeah, a thousand mon. Just get it. Get a lot of it in bulk. Uh, your hand is gonna hurt, but... Uh, that should... Uh, speed things up. Okay, so... Uh, we're looking for a book. Fine silk, silk fabric? No, thank you. Yo, GTR! How are you doing, buddy? Right. Yeah, I'm looking for the other book here. Da, no, da, da, da. Crimson beads. Beautiful pelts. Yeah, would would have been nice if they had like a bulk option or something. What does the Doja certificate do? I've always wondered. I've seen this guy talking about it before. Oh, there we go. Gust. I'll take it. A Warren pistol. Okay, cool. Thank you, buddy. Um, two Texas step. A uh, Texas two step. I need to check how we do that. Right. Crafting material. Yeah. Texas two step. Where was that again? Oh, there. Oh. I need to unlock that. So we can't get this right now, but. And the other one is in uh, the other area. Saijima sword. You can craft the weapons of other Shinsengumi members? That That is sick. Um. An ambush, we'll take it. Here! 
Uh, that be some sword. Oh, nice. More seals. Uh, yeah, they already announced an update that they're bringing sometime soon, I guess. I don't know if it's already up. I don't think it is. Okay, so... The cannon minigame. Oh, that, that is an... Oh, this is Mahjong. Okay. <laughs> I'm not coming here. Shimmy... Wish the blacksmith wasn't such an endless grind in this game. Here's the here's the best part. I think the grind was reduced from the original for the blacksmith. I think. Okay, so there's this guy here. Huh? Scared man. The ghost of a slain warrior haunts this street. Yeah, maxing out the blacksmith level does help a little bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you still need to pay a lot. Which is funny, because most of my money so far d didn't go to the blacksmith, I don't think. It went to the fucking uh, trooper gacha. <laughs> nah. A ton of our very best swordsmen have gone missing. How do you explain that, huh? How do you explain that, chat? I'm not a warrior, so what do I care? A slain warrior who challenges the living, and only at night? Pretty hard to believe. Night of the Living Rumor. Oh. Isn't that- wait, isn't that a direct reference to what's it called? Night of the Living Dead, I think? It has to be. Uh... Okay, I will... I'll be back, fellas. Chat. Why does chat have beautiful eyes? Okay, I don't think you can adjust the focus, can you? Oh! Holy, he looks beautiful now. Big chicken. I can't. I'm on a diet. 
So I'm pretty sure this guy gives you enchanted uh, stuff, if you're wondering. Or, well, enhances your enchanted weapons. Uh... Crafts? Wait, who are you? I'm a scholar of all things carpented, clockwork, and karakuri. The name's Shinbei. And my, oh my, I've outdone myself by making a cannon. This is no ordinary cannon, lad. Um. You know, lad, you seem in a prepossession of parrot pectorals and a powerful posterior. Perhaps you might just survive my invention. Hmm? Yeah, I did one. Willing to give a shot at being shot? Call it my quality karakuri cannon coaching. How does it work? That's the fun. You'll have to try and try it and see. Naturally, it's so dangerous and dare say deadly that I have a def deficit of volunteers. I will recompense you for your daring do. Okay, I think you need help. Um, I don't know, Swaggy. Gunman and sword. So wait. Okay. Oh, the stutter. Unreal Engine moment. Mm. Oh no, that was a golden one, I think. What? A curveball. Hit the first line. Evaluation 1500. Okay. Excellential. How the fuck do you say that? Excellential. But somehow I think I learned something new. Knowledge of cannons has been unlocked. Yo, let's go. I would love to proceed with such a program, probationarily. I'll provide payment once again, per force. Alright. So is that the last revelation? I guess... I don't know, Lou. Da -da -da. Fireworks. <clears throat> Cannons are if infinite, right? I assume, just like gunmen. Hey, buddies. Every time I want to do sub-stories, like right now, I get lost in just trying to improve the combat uh, stats, if you will. Nice, congratulations. I see. So, sub-stories. I think we have, what, 20 left? No, 30. Or well, 29. Soft and supple.
You know, let me unequip the virtuous hood and take this. Oh wait, the couriers. Let's destroy these guys, actually. Uh, if you're willing to race on your home turf, maybe you're the one who's scared. Tell yourself that. The fact is, I'm the playmaker. I'll do anything that improves my chances of victory. I studied every move you made against these two. I know all your tricks. And after calculating our race down to the finest detail, I determined you have no chance of beating me. Quick maths. Uh... This is gonna sound even more hilarious when you lose. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's a statistical impossibility. My strategies always work. Come on, I'll prove it to you. Do you think you'll win? Win the race. Let's go, Ryoma. No, circle, god damn it. Oh shit, this is a bigger um, area than I expected. Well, not area, but... I have to go through more places than I thought. Oh, it's... It's kind of weird, honestly. Okay, that's another one. I don't know if this is like the best order, but... Uh, let's see how it goes. Alright, that's the sixth letter. Hey, loser. One. And a two. And three. And there's gonna be one left, like, kinda near where we started. Come on, will I make it there? Oh, well, yeah, this worked actually. Yeah, this theme is pretty good. Will I make it? I think I won? Did I? This can't be! My calculations! No way. He even beat Inamoto-san. The Saito guy is unreal. Oh, see what you did there? Explain yourself in this, this instant. <laughs> yeah, Marcelo. <laughs> Chief, I must have made a mistake. I'm sorry. Uh, not only must I watch you lose in disgrace, I'm to hear your pitiful excuses as well. You're fired. Get out of my sight. But we worked together for so long. I've been with the Panthers since the beginning. Go drown that sentimental rubbish in the camo. Hoshi, Makino, you're both fired as well. You're all disgraces. Huh? Just like that? You impress me, Saito-san, how I wish you had accepted my offer to join us. The next race will be your last. How oh, is it her that's gonna race me? <laughs> um... Yo, thank you for the Dragon Tear, GTR, thank you. Da -da -da. Live Ryoma reaction. Are you alright? I think so. Our company has no room for the slow, I knew that, but I still never believed you'd really fire me. Why is Hirakawa so obsessed with being the fastest in, in Kyo? She wasn't always like this, really. Everything changed after her husband's death. Her husband? That's right. 
Hirokawa-san was the one who originally founded the Black Panther Couriers, our boss. He was a legend in our industry. His feat earned him the title Fastest in Kiel. Hmm. The Panthers inherited that reputation from him once we formed uh, a team. We had good customer service too back then. It wasn't long before we were the top couriers in the city. And the chief, she always looked so happy. I wanted those days to last forever. They couldn't though, not after the boss was killed. He was killed? Yeah. There was a rookie on the team. He got sent out on a delivery to this famous bloodthirsty samurai. But he was slow. What did he do? God damn it. When he arrived late, the samurai was furious. He attacked the kid with his sword. And the boss jumped in to defend him. So Hirakawa thinks that if the delivery hadn't been late, her husband would still be alive. Ever since then, things have been different. She fired everyone who was too slow on their feet. All she cared about was preserving the image that the boss had. Fastest in Kyo. Of course, once we started ignoring every other aspect of customer service, our reputation fell. So the chief came up with the idea of challenging other couriers and shaming them out of the market. That's why you all started racing your competitors. Understand. The Plank Pl uh, Panther couriers are the one memento she has of the boss. She'll do anything to protect his legacy. Saito-san, I have to ask you for a favor. What is it? Please, help our chief. I know that, deep down, she's suffering. Being the fastest in Kyo is no longer a source of pride. It's become a nightmare, haunting her. So I need you, once and for all, to crush the Black Panther couriers. This is really what you want? This area is where I used to beg. The chief found me starving here one day, and she saved me. I would never met anyone so kind. I thought I was repaying her, keeping the Panthers fast. Losing to you made me realize I was wrong. I want the old chief back. Hello, Elia, how you doing? What about you two? Inamot is right, I want her back too. Please, Saito-san. For all of us. I understand. If he can beat Takeda, the Panthers will collapse. There is no one faster than him. To this day, he's the only one who, whose feet could reach the same speed as the boss's. Maybe if the chief sees him lose as well, she might finally wake up from this nightmare. Takeda-san will be near the Uji River in Fushimi. We're counting on you, Saito-san. I'm gonna get another Yakuza game, but I'm deciding between Ishin and Lost Judgment. Is there any of these two that you feel more inclined to get? Like, both of them are very, very, like, side content heavy games, so I don't think you can go wrong, really. Um... Uh... Yeah, I did that sub-story, actually, Lou. Okay, so... Kushimi, I guess. Yeah, if money's a bit of a... an issue, Lost Judgment probably is cheaper now. Okay, where do we find the guy? <laughs> Takeda-san, you really know how to get everything where it's going. <laughs> Amazing deliveries today, Takeda-san. I can't wait to have you fill up my post box. Big package fans, girls. You two are pretty cute. Why don't we all go somewhere for a bit of shipping and handling? What am I listening to? That's Takeda, the Black Panther Courier's lady killer. <laughs> mm, yeah, of course. Uh, what was it again? Cyborg? Huh? 
Hey, whoever you are, stop bothering Takeda-san. Huh? Yeah, stop bothering Takeda-san, whoever you are. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but Ryoma's face looks funnier with, with this uh, skin. Right, you own that gambling den, don't you? Yeah. Try again. I'm screwing with you, Saito-san. You think I would, wouldn't know that guy's... The guy that's been dismantling my whole team? Things have changed. It's time... The NPC's fucking disappearing in the back. It's like... <laughs> like, it's not a fade-in and fade-out kind of disappearance either, which make, makes it just more distracting. You just see them walking and then, poop, they're gone. You don't say. All right, let's do it, kid. I hate to make the ladies wait, but sooner or later, they always got to learn that I'm a courier. Ca carrier, not a marrier. <laughs> now we get to watch Takeda-san race. I'll be sure to admire your male physique. <laughs> Good luck, Takeda-san. When I'll let you lick me like an envelope. <laughs> to be honest, it's kind of hard to focus with them here. You think? Crowds are what get me fired up on this job. Look, here comes another beautiful spectator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. I didn't know he was your type. Not him. Hey, loser. Skedaddle. Huh? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, me? Sorry. Oh, there's the boss. Hirakawa. Surely you knew I would come, Saito-san, to witness your defeat for myself. If I win, the Black Panther couriers have no more right to claim they're the fastest in Kyo. Yes, that would be so. However, you'll never outrun Takeda-kun. He's the only man as fast as my husband. Oh, lady. Crush this insect. Secure the panther's legacy once and for all. Of course, Hirakawa-chan. I expect a bonus for winning, though. Got a big sake tab I need to pay off. Let's do this, Saito-san. Sooner I beat you, sooner I can visit my local post, Orifis. <sighs> Alright. You know what? Let's go here first. Oh shit, there's one place from where we came from. Am I gonna make this? Are we gonna make it? Oh god, one more. Run, Ryoma, run! I guess we did it? Nice, Ryoma. Pant, pant. Holy heck. <laughs> He won! Saito-san defeated all the Blank Panther couriers! No. It's not possible. Oh, there's the sad music. When will you stream a Trail series game? Oh, I really want to, but man... The kind of things I have in mind for the channel when it comes to Yakuza-related stuff just keep on piling up. Like last month we had the Marathon, this month we have Ishian. And... There's probably gonna be a while where I just make Asian content. 
Um, and also, next month I'm thinking of streaming Resident Evil 4 Remake, because I fucking... I'm so excited for that game. Dear, forgive me. Forgive me, I couldn't protect your legacy. But I'm glad to hear you asking, by the way, because I got someone else who was asking about that yesterday. And I just felt very, uh... It, it was nice hearing from someone that they wanted me to play something else. I can't bear to see you like this anymore. As long as the Panthers keep going, you'll never be free of the burden of the, being the fastest in Kyo. So I say we pack it in. But what will I do? I've lost my husband. If I lose my company, I'll have nothing. Um, yo, Verix. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. You got that as well, right? I think. If I remember right. Hey, Fushi. will always be there for you, Chief. This was never about being the fastest delivery man for us. All we wanted was to make you happy. Boys. I see. Yeah, mine arrived pretty quick. All things considered, paying, like, the, the whole thing's price again for the shipping was kind of worth it. Uh, the estimated date of, uh, date of arrival was uh, tomorrow, but it arrived today. Uh, no, Amon is definitely not gonna be this stream. We still have, like, almost 30 sub-stories. Um, thank you, Swag, you really appreciate it. How about the Hirakawa post? Takeda-kun, all of you. Thank you. Don't cry, Chief. Your tears shouldn't run. We'll take care of that. Oh! <laughs> nice, dude. Maybe that could be our new slogan. Brawler for hire. Where is that? I think Hirakawa's husband would be happy too. YouTubers that make GTA content since 2013. Yeah, I mean... It, it's... I feel like it is also, like, in major part my fault, because... I remember a few months ago saying I'm gonna try to, like, alternate between, like... Say, for every three Yakuza streams or something, I'm gonna do one non-Yakuza stream, but... That didn't last long. The perfume substore? I don't think I did. Interesting theory, but hey, what's done is done. All's well that ends well, right? <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Oh, look at the animation loop. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, stop. <laughs> She's beautiful when she laughs, isn't she? Uh. Yeah, she is. Thank you, Saito-san. Hope I see you around again someday. <laughs> I expect you to make the Hirakawa Post service a service to be proud of. Uh, the perfume is by the boat that takes you to... <laughs> Okay. How does it feel to be the fastest man in all of Kyo? You work up a thirst? I'll join you for a drink if you're buying. <laughs> I enjoyed the Silent Hill streams and horror games. Oh, thank you. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah. I look. <sighs> I always wonder sometimes, like. If it's even worth doing huh? some of the non Yakuza stuff that I do. So, hearing that from all of you, re uh, like, I really appreciate it. Yeah. I don't think so. Huh? Oh, Saito san? The priest! If you're out for a drink, I'll come along. Mm -hmm. Who's this guy? 
Never mind that, I'm thirsty. Ha ha ha. I still have no idea what involvement the priest had in this sub-story. None. <laughs> I think he literally just passed by and he's like, Hey guys, you drinking? I'll join. What am I gonna do? Looks like it's finally time to pack it in. That fisherman seems kinda down. What am I gonna do? You okay? Seem kind of blue. The desperate fisherman. I have to bring a fish back home with me today. Or else I have to give up my passion for good. Yeah. You mean I'll have to quit? I love fishing probably more than most. Only trouble is I'm terrible at it. Haven't caught a single fish since the, the day I fire I first cast out. Yeah. Wait, not even one? Not even one. What's worse, my wife just loathes how it swallows up all my time and effort. I work my tail off and can't even bring it home a decent meal. I did try the arena, yeah. Does it have anything worthwhile? Like, everything in the exchange... Um, ...shop is kind of not that good. And the golden sword didn't seem that interesting. The dojo, okay. Not even a twitch of the old rod. At this rate, my fishing days are sunk. Do you fish? Uh, yeah, now and then. I beg you. Can I have some of your fish? Smallest you've got, even. You want my fish? Well, I can't ask anyone else. Please. Uh. Is this a friendship, maybe? Yeah. I guess not. Love struck woman. What should I do? That woman, is she planning to take the ferry? What to do to go or not to go? Uh, what was the package again? A bunch of stuff. Like a wall, like a life-size uh, scroll of Ryoma. A pillow. A fan. Stickers. A bunch of other stuff. Uh, the friendship stuff counts as a sub-story only when you first talk to them. So, it's good that they end very quickly. How many seals can you put on the Golden Sword? I'm not sure, but I think the Golden Sword you get at normal rarity, which is bad. And as far as I know, if you want to increase the rarity of just the same item, that is not possible. Unless there is like an NPC that I don't know about, but he can't do it at the blacksmith. Best katana? I'm using the Oni model right now just because it has the highest uh, damage value, but there's probably something better. <sighs> Mind if I ask why? Oh. Well, there's something being sold there. A kind of scented water called perfume. Okay. Perfume? Never heard of it. Stinky, Ryoma. <laughs> Apparently applying it to yourself will make men swoon over you. So, it's some sort of love potion? <sighs> That's what they say. I've never been very popular with men, you see. I thought this might finally help. But this perfume... The only person who sells it is a black market dealer in Mukurogai. Muramasa. Yeah. You can't escape the grind in this game unless you decide, okay, you know what? I am not doing anything in this game. <laughs> like, eventually you will have to grind, whether it's to, like, improve your weapon or get good gear or, like, Improve your troopers, or try to get seals for the weapons, or, you know, so on and so forth. <sighs> I know it's risky, but for a prize like that, I thought I could muster the courage. Mukura guy is no joke, especially for a woman alone. She seems... She really seems like she might go. Maybe I should buy this perfume thing for her. No time. Good luck, miss. Why don't you let me go? Uh... Near the bounty hunter. Okay, thank you. Uh. Uh. <laughs> so, that guy, Pocket, 
he, he doesn't make swords, does he? He just improves them. So then, if the blacksmith doesn't make enchanted swords, who the hell crafts them? If the guy in uh, Mokoro guy just enhances them. Three Rio. Scented water. Actually, wait. How did people that couldn't speak Japanese 100% the game uh, back then with a the ridiculous grind? Yeah. He just had people that were that dedicated. I love Yakuza, but Ishin and Kenzon are two games that I just really didn't bother with. You add enchantment to the normal swords. Oh, is that? Okay, I guess that does make sense, but I need to test that out. I guess this doesn't go to... you think Lost Paradise is gonna get a PC release anytime soon? We can only hope. I really want to see that game on PC. I do. Remember when I said this was gonna be a short stream? We're almost at six hours now. So, near the bounty hunter, someone said, across the bridge. The boat. I was wondering, I don't think any of them said uh, Mokoro, uh, Mokoro guy. Hmm? So maybe it just said the area name instead. Uh... Oh yeah, no. I fixed my sleep schedule. Uh... Yesterday, actually. So, we're good. We're good for now. The scented water. Oi. Hi. I'd like to talk to you. <laughs> Shit, he found me. But you'll never catch me. I think you're mistaking me for someone else. I'm looking to buy something off you. <gasps> the hell you are. Not if I kill you first. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Can I take his sword? <laughs> Bundle blade. <laughs> One bow guy next to Kamaki's dojo. Oh, okay, I see. I'm really up shit creek this time. He got me dead to rights. Calm down, I'm only here to make a purchase. You're not under arrest. Huh? You're actually buying? That's right. Oh, sorry about that. He just showed up out of nowhere with a face like an ogre's and my alarm bells went off. Well, I normally don't trade with strangers, but to apologize for making you kick my ass, I'll open up shop. I see. Thanks. What can I do for you, mister? Uh, I've heard of a certain scented water that makes its wear irresistible to men. Do you carry that? Um, yeah, I got it. That's what you want? Hmm. Takes all kinds, I guess. It's for someone else. Yeah, alright, whatever you say. <laughs> Here you go. It's called perfume, supposed to drive men crazy somehow. How much is it? Tell you what, just to put the whole thing behind us, it's yours for free. Honestly, I don't even know how well it works. You don't? I suppose it is hard to believe that some little bottle of water will make you attractive to men. You can try it out first if you're skeptical. Oh no. <laughs> Here, have a waft. Oh. Oh, hmm. Huh. There is an aroma to it. It's sensual. Still, it's nothing like a love potion, to be sure. I told someone I'd get it for them, though. Thanks. Hmm? Hmm? Something wrong? Hey, you... I love you. Uh-oh. <laughs> huh? I love you. What the hell? I love you. I love you. I love you. 
I'll go to the ends of the earth for you, mister, sir, lover. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Strife. Never 100% games? I don't do it. Yeah, I'm the same way. I just max out, like, the combat styles. Um, hey, why don't we go somewhere quiet? Sup, Leon. Huge fan. I never 100% Yakuza games because of the time it consumes. Do you feel the same way? Thank Thanks. you. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, I don't 100% Yakuza games. The only one that I did that for was Yakuza 0. That's it. Uh, his face is flushed. I can practically hear his heart beating. He's gone berserk. I can't just fight him again while he's like this. I have to get out of here. <laughs> Thanks for the water. Oh, screw the water. No, wait. Screw me. Oh, no. <laughs> Did we actually get into a chase battle? Oh, hell yeah. Let's fucking go. Gotta go back to that woman. Run, Ryoma. Run! Oh, the gate is open this time. Is he still chasing us? What? Where'd you come from? That, that was bullshit. Like, game, can you be a little more fair? What the hell? He disappeared! What the hell is this shit? Is it, is it just like a literal jump scare mechanic? What the hell? Is he here? No. Here? No. Here? No. Here? He's gonna be around this corner, no? He loves us! He loves us! Okay, will he disappear or like, how does this work? Uh, what the fuck is he doing there? Uh, I guess I can't do anything except like just force my way. Oh no. Run, Bioma! <laughs> What a buggy mess, holy crap. Oh! He can charge at you. Was it this buggy in the original? What the hell is this shit? Uh... Go, go, go! No, run! Ryoma! Oh, the lady, she's right here. Lady! Get him off of me! This far out, I should be safe here. Yeah, safe. <laughs> Look at him there. <laughs> uh. Without maxed running. Yeah, I can imagine how rough that was. God damn. Oh, sir, how did it go in Mokuro Gai? Oh, let me guess, she's gonna fall in love with us now? Or something? I don't know. Uh. Yeah, I have it here. You handed over the perfume. <laughs> I can hardly believe it. Thank you. This is the start of a whole new life, where men will actually look my way. They'll do more than just look, so be careful. You might end up attracting more than what you bargained for. Oh? Yeah. Huh? Hmm, sure. So this is what perfume is capable of. Things could go very bad. <laughs> what a horrifying invention. Uh, there is a reason not to put perfume on, fellas. You don't want suspicious merchant to violate you. Um Let's see this guy's deal with the with the fish. They biting? <laughs> nope, not today. <laughs> Here's a fish, buddy. Whoa. 
get a load of this one. Okay, this has got to be the last time. She's bound to believe in me now. Okay, so it is a friendship quest. I'm gonna change the time of day and also... The costume. Yeah, that was the perfume one. Yeah, you would think Ryoma would be um, affected as well, but he wasn't. Anyway, Shinobi. It's pretty cool how the mask changes according to uh, the Haori you have on. Yeah. Okay, uh... Let's put this one, I guess. This is a pretty loud one, but... Oh yeah, I need to change the time as well. We've been on the afternoon for a while. Night time. Okay, I might do one sub stories or something and then probably call it there. I need to go eat. I'm hungry. Should I do the chatting ladies quest? No. God, that one is so annoying just because you have to read a lot. Actually, let's not do a sub-story. Let's do something else. Oh no, okay, I thought it was gonna break. Yeah, I tried the Toja clan, Haori, before. Uh, uh, should we? Maybe... I'm gonna do the dungeons for a bit, maybe. Hope we get some good drops. Can he get seal drops in... Uh, the dungeon? I don't know if he can. Hey, Snuffly, how you doing? Okay. The wanted men. Yeah, we could do that too. But since I'm here, I'm just gonna do this. Uh. Gold seal. That's something else, though, I think. Uh, seem to remember getting seals from Dungeon. There's a guy who can make a Muramasa Blade for you for free? Uh, which guy? Is it the one in, uh, Mokura guy? I'm gonna do this one again. This one seems to be like the shortest overall. And also just gives you very high quality materials. Hey Matthias, welcome. No, I'm not doing 100%. I had mine made by him. I'm assuming you need to get the materials first because he didn't offer me to craft anything. He just offered me to enhance weapons. Maybe, Matthias. Anything is possible. I've been waiting to unlock this heat action just to do that. Look at the damage. Oh, that's not the one that I wanted to do. 
How would Tender perform with the Ichiban boost? Very good question. Ichiban is not in the same style. Uh oh. <laughs> I've been trying to get the War God Talisman. It doesn't seem like it's very good from what I saw. Can regular enemies in dungeons kill you in like two hits in the original? I don't know. I heard that the original was actually easier, but I don't know how true that is. Armor gone. How are you doing? Perfect. <clears throat> yeah, outlaw. Like, I mean, the grind for this game is just ridiculous. I think everyone like who ragged on Lost Paradise having for having the worst grind is uh, about to learn something new. I mean, you know, having said that, I still do think Lost Paradise grind is brutal, but um, at least with Lost Paradise, you, you have to get what just 50% completion in the English release. And in this, you need 100%. If that damages me... Okay. I grinded the arena for 5 hours to get Brawler from level 15 to 25. Nice. <laughs> so the remake isn't less grindy than the original? I heard it is in some... Places, but I'm not sure which places. I think the grind in the dungeon was reduced. I mean, you know, for the levels, but I don't know if that is true. And something else as well, I heard the blacksmith stuff was not as detailed as it is here. I wanted to do a heat action. No! I hate the arena more than Yakuza 3's Coliseum. I mean, yeah, having to fight five goddamn fights in a row with no heals is uh, <laughs> brutal, to say the least. What? Oh, this guy's hitbox sometimes, I swear to god. Two thousand, god damn. Oh, nice. More. See what he gives us. We got no drops this time, right? From the enemies. Except him, I mean. Purgatory. Blue. Not bad. Though, again, the problem with getting um, high-end 
equipment, just a low tier, is that he can't upgrade the rarity, I don't think. At least not as far as I know. Uh, yeah, Lou. Uh, I figured that was the case. I experimented with the cards uh, not too long ago. The hundred man be downed. Damn. I don't think I did that yet, actually. If in the many, the background is purple. Oh. You know what? Let's do another mission this time. Um. Let's do this one. Nice. I framed through the uh, spikes. Okay, the big guy can be really annoying because of the things that he throws. Like that. Uh oh. Why is he a giant? Yeah, welcome to Ishin Kiwami. <laughs> The giant enemies are a new addition, as far as I know. Uh -oh. Okay, that's one other armor gone. Uh, I'm addicted to farming and the dungeon. Yeah, the dungeon is nice. Oh, the giants were in the Vita dungeon? So wait, they were in the Vita dungeon, but then they were gone in the original? Yeah, the swordsman counter is really good. Okay, wait, let me make use of this. Did you guys see that freeze? Eye on the big guy in case he throws something at you. Get that dodge ready. 
Like now. Okay. Perfect. That is really good. We got three of them cornered there. Is the costume DLC worth it? If it looks appealing to you, sure. Okay, I should probably heal. Keep an eye on him. Can't see shit. Okay, one is almost down. Okay, nice. That is one less to worry about. damage this. That's not too bad. Oh no. Okay, gonna use the Psycho Heat refill after this. Always gotta be careful for those projectiles. Um, doesn't it get repetitive sometimes? You mean in general or just right now here? I mean, that's the thing with grinding. You will always repeat the same. Whoa! Holy shit! He has the counter. This game, like, will get repetitive to you, eventually. Because, you know, you have to spend, hunt, like, a couple hundred hours to get the most out of the combat. Um, and the equipment and everything else. If it doesn't get repetitive with the combat, it will get repetitive with the side content. Because, guess what, you have to... If you don't use the chicken racing to get money, you will use something else, and you will do that again and again and again, so... Stuff like this are bound to get repetitive. Um, your troops are close to zero happiness, yeah. I found it useless to... ...focus on that, because... ...apparently it only matters if you're going to a risky mission. Because apparently... If you die, they have a chance to leave. Which rarely happens to me. Okay, now for this guy. Gotta dodge! The fact that he can use heat actions on this guy as well kind of slow, this, slow things down. But then again, how how would fucking how would they look if you use heat actions on this guy? <laughs> they would have to rescale him, which uh, won't work well. The gun is not that bad for him actually, 
except when that happens. Well, what? Did I just instantly get up? <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta get heals after this, for sure. Oh, nice. I'll take that. But yeah, that is the price of having better weapons, basically, in this game. Yeah, I do wish each of one's skill lasted longer. Eye of the Dragon and 5 Rio. Is it worth it? Just for the Eye of the Dragon, probably. <laughs> like, that money is... Eh. Yeah, true swaggy. Though that would require effort, I guess. What was Tenda's special attack again? A big ass, like, Hadouken. It's actually really good. Like, it's better than Nishtani's uh, ability, I think. Because, like, anything in that range for Tendo, like, in that line of sight, pretty much dies. Okay, well, I think this is actually a great stopping point. This was intended to be a very short stream. Like, at first I was like, okay, I'm gonna unbox the thing and call it a day. Just show, show like... The chat, um, the package that I got today. And I was like, nah, if I do that, the stream is gonna be like 20 minutes, half an hour tops, maybe. So I was like, you know what, let's play Ishin. I mean, I want to grind the game anyway, so. Um, I'm probably gonna get to doing more off screen gr grinding with the chicken racing and all that because I think the stuff that I have still isn't enough. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. I really want to get to uploading um, Asian difficulty bosses. Um, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, for now, thank you guys so much for joining. It's been a blast. It's been really fun having all of you here. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing and just had a good time. If there's going to be a stream, you'll know through Discord and Twitter. And yeah, you guys take care, stay safe, and stay healthy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, you guys. Bye-bye.